Yeah, I mean, a, a supernatural cookbook that doesn't have a lot of pie recipes isn't a good supernatural cookbook. Like, <laughs> that's what supernatural is all about, man. It's not about the, the, uh, not about the monsters or the boys hunting the monsters or anything like that. No, it's all about the freaking pie, okay? That's where it's at. <laughs> your children have invaded your office? Oh, man. Hey, uh, Mr. Noodle. I know you can't hear me, but uh, if you could, then I would like you to know thank you. <laughs> All right, so if I remember correctly, last time we left off here... Um, I'm going to turn the game... Uh, no, it looks okay, actually. The last time we left off here, we... We what? We, we, did we finish up this area? I think we finished up this area, right? Did we get all the, get all the stuffs? I think we might have. What are we, what are we missing? Collectibles? Man, I've already forgotten how to play the freaking game. And there's some way to see, like, all the shit. We did the optional side mission. There it is. I'm freaking blind. Bottom right hand, or mid right hand corner, I guess. Yeah, we got, we got all the shit. We got all the, uh, the gold fucking things. We got the, the hat thing. We got the robot thing. All the, all the stuff that's important. <laughs> we didn't get the, uh... Oh, shit, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, man. The raritanium. We didn't get all the raritanium, but we got everything else. That's all that really matters, right? What is this like? Oh, that's probably like a health or something. I was wondering why the hell can't we collect that, but... It's about Dean's hunt for the best pie. Honestly, though, I mean, that's pretty much what it is, man. Honestly, I would watch that. If they just wanted to have a whole series about the the boys, specifically Dean, hunting for pie, I'd watch it. Uh, this is not where we're going. Where? How do we get back to the ship? <laughs> this is what happens when I don't play a game for, for a week. I forget everything. Okay. Ooh, boy, we almost died. Um, we can go up the side here, right? Yeah, freaking mag boots and shit. Can we, like, phase through that? No, we can't. Okay, well, I mean, I tried. Ship is that away. 60-some meters that away. Um, how do we get over there again? Ah, maybe, maybe this elevator-looking thing here. That might do something. <laughs> Shoplifting is not permitted. I never would have guessed, man. I'm glad we got a overhead speaker system to let us know that we can't shoplift. Shoplifting bad. Don't do it. Uh, so these two are completely finished, right? Or no, just the missions are finished. That's what the check mark means. It would be nice if it had a quick way to tell if all of the collectibles were found too. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice, you know? Because, like, this one's completely done. So if it had a, I don't know, a, a gold check mark or something next to it, that would be cool. Whereas, like, this one here, all the missions are done, so it has the check mark, but we haven't found one of the robots, one of the armor pieces, or one of the golden nuts, or bolts, whatever. Bolts. Golden bolts. So it'd be cool, like, if they just differentiated that somehow. Let's uh, continue through the actual story part of the game, though, shall we? Seems like a uh, decent plan to me, man. We've been messing around, collecting all the side shit and whatnot. Let's get through the story, you know? Bruh, every time we load up a new planet, I can't help but just be amazed with how this fucking game works. Or works? Looks. It's so good. your dimension, but out here, things never go according to plan. Improvisation is a skill you learn very fast. I also have a talent for improvisation. What's her... Who's her voice actor, I wonder? She sounds very familiar, you know? I don't know if it's just because we've been hearing her for a couple weeks now or what, but she sounds super familiar. Let's get some phase courts repaired. Find the fixer, okay. We can do that. Yes. There's so much detail, so man. I love it. And then all the shit flying around in the sky, the random portals opening up. All of the, the fauna and whatnot being actual like 3D stuff. Like playing so many PS2 games, this is just shit that you learn to to appreciate <laughs> oh and then of course we're collecting rupees because we turned on one of the uh i mean i guess they call them do they call them cheats whatever they call them we turned we turned one of the options on and 
it uh it turns all of the nuts and bolts into rupees. I was trying to figure out like she doesn't do like the boomerang thing. She throws her hammer hammer like Thor or something like that. That's pretty cool, man. Over here thoring it up. That's pretty dope. Oh wait, do we like lock on? Oh, yeah, I guess we have aim assist, which, I mean, makes sense, but I never really noticed it before. Oh, yeah, and we're getting damage indicators. That's right. We turned on, like, the, the RPG mode, too. <laughs> you seem out of commission, Clank. Can we? No, there's no way we can make that jump right now. Even with the rocket boosters on our feet, I don't think we're making that jump over there. Ooh, although... With that said, maybe if we go quickly, uh, we might be able to make it, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, well, we might be able to make it if we weren't fucking terrible. There we go. Let's go, boy. <laughs> yes, rare tadium. I mean, yeah, the, I guess we got the golden bolt, too. <laughs> I mean, that's what gives us all the, the cheats and shit, right? It's the golden bolt, so I actually should be a little bit happier about that. Jennifer Hale. She also is the female voice of Commander Shepard. Oh, very cool. I mean, I don't know if that's where I heard her from then. Probably not. Because, uh, I mean, I did play Mass Effect, but I played Shepard as a man. So... But she does sound super familiar for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Well, we can't go down there. I saw, like, the lower level of the platform. And I was like, hey, maybe we can maybe we can go down there or something. But I guess not. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Die. Yeah, weird trash goblins. Oh, my God. All the rupees are flying toward me. Like, this is just freaking... Perfect. <laughs> I just I, I don't know what it is so satisfying about it, but it's it's probably a particle system, I'm assuming is what they're using. I'm not sure, but either way, it is freaking satisfying as hell. And I love it. Oh, okay, well I mean wasn't a very satisfying jump there, but we made it at least. Alright, so, I, oh, okay, well, I guess we already had it. it. It kept it collected after last time, that's fair. Let's see what we unlock, though. She was on cartoons and such also, DuckTales, Powerpuff Girls, and others. It's, oh, yeah, well, then, I mean, I've seen all of that shit, so. We got ship skin. Oh, cool, what do we got? We got Rebel, Galactic Ranger, and Default. So, I'm guessing Rebel's the red one, Galactic Ranger's the, like, bluish one. I think I think we'll do do the rebel, the like uh, torn up red one. That sounds cool to me. Yeah, that looks pretty slick. I like it. We'll keep that for now. I don't know yet what we're gonna play after this game. One thing about Ratchet and Clank games, they're not usually too long, so I don't expect it to to take a super long time to finish it. Does anyone here know where we can so I have no idea what we're gonna play after this though you know something on the PS2 I, I'm definitely doing a PS2 game next considering you know that is kind of the focus of the the channel at this point in time but I don't know what game could do I mean we had a lot of fun with DMC the other day even though I kind of suck at it I'm, I'm tempted to do and honestly what we might end up doing is uh the the crash game even though like i had a lot of issues with it but at the same time i ever since i played it i've been wanting to play more of it too so i don't really know what's up with that but like i like it but i don't like it at the same time it's weird invisible walls are trash maybe dmc yeah maybe like i said i haven't actually decided yet i might just leave it up to the fates my my tool that I made to randomly select games for me to play can also do games for me to complete. Like, that's an option that I set up on there as well. So we might just leave it up to fate, but I don't know, man. One of the reasons why I'm thinking maybe Crash Bandicoot, too, is because it's another, kind of like Ratchet & Clank, you know? It's another uh, relatively short game. 
So I think that wouldn't be a bad option just to get through one. Get it done and off the list. Wow! Uh, you were literally saying that as you were typing it. Or as you were literally typing it as you were typing it. I mean, no shit. No, <laughs> as I was saying it. Uh, Crash Twin Sanity, I think, is the one that we were that we played on stream so far. The only one that we played on. Oh, no, I guess we did uh, Tag Team Racing, too. But those are the only two that we did on stream. Uh, can I jump over there? Uh, nope, there's an invisible wall. <laughs> Freaking invisible walls, man. Trash. Is there any way to tell? Like, if we... Can we, like, throw our hammer? Does it hit the invisible wall? It doesn't seem like it. Because it's hitting the, the steel there, which is what I was trying to hit. But yeah, Crash to Insanity, man. It's, uh... I said, I don't really know how I feel about it. Because while I was playing it, I had a bunch of issues with it. But ever since I finished playing it, I was like, I kind of want to play more. So it's weird. But I think part of the reason why... I can't believe we missed that rare titanium. I think part of the reason why is that, like, it has an amazing fucking soundtrack, dude. The whole thing is done a cappella. Like, with just people's voices. The entire soundtrack. It's insane. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who came up with that idea or why, but, uh. But yeah, it's a little weird. Why is everybody, like, hiding from us and shit? I'm guessing, like, they've had a raider problem or something in this area. Also, are these, like, meant to be, like, hermit crabs or something? They kind of remind me of hermit crabs. Twin Sandy was interesting. You played it some when you were younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's, it's fun. It's just, I feel like it has a lot of problems. But I'm also not, like, the world's biggest Crash fan, you know? Most of the Crash games that I've played, I feel like, had some uh, pretty significant problems. So, I'm probably not the best guy to, to ask about that. <laughs> The buzz blades, huh? What's that do? I'm guessing it just shoots saw blades, right? That's pretty cool. Not exactly what I expected. I thought they were going to be like full size saw blades, not going to lie. But yeah, it's pretty cool though. Can we afford the other, whatever the next gun was? The Glove of Doom. That's the next one. No, we can't. Okay. That's fine. We're just buying the shit in order. Make it easy. You're happy I'm playing this because it's probably five years off to you own a PS5? I mean, hopefully they become a little bit more available here soon. Now, obviously, they're still not going to be super cheap. But if they're available, at least, then, uh, you know, that would help a ton. Molinoth means paradise and junkish? Junk has its own language? He most definitely is! Great guy, the best, and single, if either of you are interested. Maybe, maybe. I'm guessing this is the fixer that we're talking to. He can fix phase quartz. Phase quartz, blaze quartz, any quartz, anything! I'm thinking this is our guy. But, uh... We've been having trouble with pirates, so we asked him to help because, you know, he's a big guy. But after a few days of totally crushing them, he just, uh... Broke. Oh, wait. Mm. Wait, the fixer is the giant freaking robot? What the hell? What? That's the fixer? The freaking Optimus Prime or whatever, Liberty Prime from Fallout? Like, <laughs> is the fixer? That's not at all what I expected, man. Is okay, that's Wait, fucking crazy. It is Five years is a good estimate, even if they become readily available. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm excited to see what kind of revisions they're gonna do. I'm not a huge fan of them doing like pro revisions halfway through and whatnot. I, I don't know. It's fine, I guess, but it doesn't really do a whole lot for games in general, in my opinion, because. They, uh, they still have to make the games work on the lower end hardware, so it's kind of dumb to me, the whole pro thing. But I do like, like, the slim models and shit. I think those are nice. So I'm all for that. Also, I didn't realize until, like, now that this is a pretty decent combo. Having the fucking, the shield up like this 
right? Uh, okay, well, I guess the shield only helps against projectiles, maybe. But anyways, and then just throwing our hammer. That's a that's a decent combo for if we ever run out of ammo or whatever. That's a way that we can that we can deal with shit. And then what's our other quick weapon? Is it our normal gun? Yeah, okay. Good, good. That's what I want. What is that sound? Oh, well, hi there. <laughs> I, uh, are, are you guys, like, hatching on the other side of this wall or something? Is that what I'm hearing? I was thinking I was, like, missing something over here. Man, one of these days, though, you need to at least, like, try a PS5, Nate. It's so cool, like, the, the triggers. You can't explain it, but it's actually really neat. Like, feeling the trigger jump with every shot of a gun. Or, uh... Or whenever you're pulling it back a bow, it getting harder and harder to pull back as 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 you pull it back. Like little things like that. It actually really adds to the game experience. Like it's it's actually really cool. It's too bad they don't like have some setup in, you know, retail locations and whatnot. Like, they have, you know, Xboxes and Playstations and whatnot set up different places. It's too bad they don't have, like, PS5s. Maybe at, like, a, uh, maybe at GameStop or something they do. I don't know. I haven't looked around GameStop too much. Yeah, it is actually pretty cool. Like, it's not, it's not the sort of thing that's, like, it's not a defining feature that means you have to have a PS5, you know, compared to, like, an Xbox or whatever or, or a Switch. But it's cool to have. The 3D audio thing's pretty neat, too. I, I don't have it turned on because of the whole, the whole streaming thing. I think it might sound weird on stream. Um, although, I don't know. Maybe it would come through just fine. But uh, they have the whole 3D soundscape technology, too, that's supposed to, like, give you super accurate positional audio in games when you're wearing headphones. And then they even have, like, special headphones that can, that can do it ultra good. <laughs> I English well. Shit like that, but... I've messed around with it a little bit, but since most of my time that I'm I'm gaming on my console, I'm on stream. I haven't I haven't tried it out a whole lot, bro. You know one game though that we are gonna have to get soon is Grand Turismo Seven. I uh, been watching the trailer for it. I think I told Nate, but for anybody else in stream, it just looks so freaking good, man. I'm super excited for that game. I love the Grand Turismo game. I don't think it'll be a very good streaming game. To be honest, but uh, I just I love playing them and collecting all the cars and and trying out all the different races. I don't know for sure if this one will have it or not, but I remember the one on PS3 that I played the hell out of had like the 24-hour endurance races and shit like that. Just crazy stuff, man. I never completed one of the 24-hour endurance races because uh, I might be crazy, but I'm not that freaking crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh no, there's uh, I saw rare tadium over there. We missed out, man. Not a broken rail. Whatever will we do? I actually kind of like this. The the rail sections and and ratchet and plank games. It's a lot of fun. Like uh, just you know, uh, I forget how to enter rifts. <laughs> <laughs> is it L1, R1? I don't remember. Yeah, we, we got this. We Gucci. Oh, shit. Hello. That was pretty cool. We're dead. <laughs> We're dead. GG. <laughs> Try again. Probably be cool to show it for an hour or two how far it's come after the PS2 version you played. Oh, yeah, no, if I get it, then for sure. Like, I'm definitely going to play it on stream at least once. But, uh, yeah, I'm just saying, like, I don't think we're gonna end up streaming the, the entire game or anything, though. Because, yeah. At the end of the day, like, it's just gonna be watching me do the same exact races over and over and over and over again, <laughs> trying to collect up money and shit like that. Although, like, seeing how all the different cars handle and everything, but half the experience is, is actually feeling how all of the different cars handle and whatnot. Heck yeah, more Ratchet and Clank Rue. Also, welcome, Rue. <laughs> Happy to see you here, man. 
has brought us together again. The fucking pirates, man. Although it's cool. It's a nice, uh... It's a nice bit of character to the enemies, you know, instead of just, like, uh... Super basic grunts or whatever like that. It's fun to be able to, uh... For them to have just a little bit of... Uh, personality. How does your shield fare against my shield? Yeah, it looks like my shield wins. <laughs> Although, saying that, yeah, I think we are going to have to get a little bit creative here. Ow! Okay. They, uh... I keep forgetting that they can, they can actually hit through our shield. We can... Uh, okay. Collecting up some health. <laughs> health is a good idea. Uh, maybe, maybe we just shoot back. There we go. G freaking G. Ow! Stop hitting me! <laughs> Don't you know it's not nice to hit a lady? A lady Lombax? Oh man, we need to collect some health. We are not doing great. Hopefully that was all of them. No, it wasn't. They're still coming! Why are they still coming? We need health, please. There's rare tanium. I mean, that's nice. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but... I would rather have just, just a wee, wee bit of health, you know? Just a, just a little nibble, a little taste of health would be fantastic. Oh, you're not dead yet. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was going to go off the, the the edge there. Uh, okay, we need to get some Mr. Fun guys up to maybe hit them in the back or something like that. Oh, no! Wait, what? Why did we just... Why did we just, like, teleport in whenever we... I'm very confused what the hell just happened there, to be honest with you. But, uh... I'm not mad about it. <laughs> you think the last Gran Turismo game you played was on 3? That's the last one I played seriously. Outside of, obviously, you know, the, the newest one that I played seriously, I guess I should say. Because I did play the one on PS2 a week or so ago. So there was that, but... So up against Pierre again, huh? Yeah, so we're on the, the junk planet, right? And, uh, trying to get to uh, the fixer. Someone who can fix the crystal that we collected. And apparently he's a giant freaking robot. And, uh, well, he himself needs fixed before he can fix our shit. So, <laughs> but we have to, obviously we have to get to him first. So that he can, he can, he can do the fixing. Or so that we can fix him to do the fixing. You know what? It's, it's a little convoluted, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, this planet keeps getting raided by pirates. And obviously, Pierre's going to be at the, the center of it. Press L1 to use hurl shot. Okay, so it's going to be... This is like our, our, our grapple, the swingy thing that we use, but it's going to hurl us, right? Oh, oh, yeah, buddy. Not exactly how I expected it to work, but hell yeah. Alright, uh, more Mr. Fungi. Mr. Fungi is still best guy, man. And then, you know what, let's try the lightning rod out. Maybe, maybe it's shocking them a little bit would do, would be helpful. Can we, can we get like a, a Mr. Fungi up there, I wonder? No, doesn't seem like it, sadly. Alright, fine. We'll use... I don't know. The... I guess just the regular blast pistol. To kill him. Is the fun guy at least shooting over there, or... No, it doesn't look like it. Damn it, fun guy, you've disappointed me. Oh, I just realized, too, we did get a level up. We're up to 50 health now. Dope. I love the, the RPG, the... The stuff popping up. All of the little hit indicators. Or not hit indicators. The damage indicators. I'm into it. Probably staff to force him given he has no honor if last time gave us any hints on him. Yeah. 
I mean, they they keep raiding the place, so I, I think no matter what, he wasn't going to be on our side, you know? <laughs> but we got to make our way over to the giant robot so that we can, so that we can try to kill the dude. Uh, I want the... I want the... I guess we don't have it equipped. I want the shield weapon. I kind of like it. The Void Repulsor. We want that on... Uh, I don't know. We don't use the Topiary one very much. Maybe we'll put it over there. Was that the... Did I replace the right one? I think I did. I think I did. Because with this, we should be able to hopefully block their shots, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It blocks their shots. I think... Yeah, it takes a little bit of ammo whenever we do it, but still. And then we can just freaking use the 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 hammer to freaking knock these bros out <laughs> our thor hammer here dude where the rest of them at i hear him i ain't see him oh they're like circling us okay you know what in that case can we get a mr fungi over on your ship yeah take that boys <laughs> hope you like fun guys because <laughs> fun guys like you We'll give him a little bit of assistance here, though. Help him out a little bit, you know? Fun guy's pretty great, but even a fun guy needs a bit of help every now and then. Oh, shit. The fun guy's dead. Fun guy down. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I want the this one. Please and thank you. Blast pistol. Ah, uh, the one over here is dead. Oh, ho, ho. that was a pretty explosion. Last one. Uh, seems like a basically infinite amount, honestly. Pirates for days, man. The Lombax is firing at us. What did you expect? You're firing at the Lombax. Do you think he was just gonna... Or he... She... The, do you think the Lombax was just gonna sit there and let you freaking shoot? Alright, which way were we going? I guess the I have the only way I see to go is the way we'll go. This way. Let's freaking go. Freaking going for it, man. Uh what gun do we have? Equip the enforcer? Yeah. Take it. Uh that's thank you, Rivet. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Ow! I don't appreciate y'all shooting at me all the time. You know, if we could just all be friends, I would actually be fine. Like, I wouldn't have to kill you. You wouldn't have to try and kill me. We could all just be 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 friends and help each other out. You know? You can have some junk. I can have the fixer fix my phase port. And then we could all be happy. But no. Somebody's got to be a dick. Uh, we don't really need that health. It's probably dumb to... Oh, what are these? Look like freaking murder robots. Oh, uh, something just leveled up. The Executor? Is that what we're using? Yeah, okay. I can never remember what any of these weapons or anything are called. <laughs> the high ego, but no actual talent type. <laughs> uh, maybe get off the... Get off the wall! <laughs> like... Alright, fun guys. Fun guys seem like a, a good option here. Can shoot them in the back a little bit while they're focusing on me. And uh, why not some bombs? I bet bombs will take quick work uh, or make quick work of your shields. There we go. That's how we deal with them. Back to the executor. Not in the least. You? Do you want to dance? I'll dance with you, bro. Ooh. Big mech dude, huh? That's all right. We Roger. Is he we Roger because, like, he took a good we? Ah! Uh, Executor. 
Seems like a good option for this bro. <laughs> I just love him getting pelted in the head repeatedly by the freaking... <laughs> by the fun guy. Like, that's just fantastic. I don't know if you guys can hear it on stream and, and over me, but you can hear the, the, uh, the fun guy shots just kind of repeatedly hitting him in the head. Like, <laughs> it's, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Okay, we're we might die, but It's okay. We're fine. Uh, that's the wrong weapon and we are out of ammo for it now If you want to like stay over there where your shots are kind of getting stuck That's fine Wait, are we doing four shots with this thing now? Holy crap the enforcer man went from a double barrel to a quad barrel a freaking it's like a see that I didn't know they would like transform as they leveled up. That's pretty dope <laughs> Oh Pierre Oh, just going to knock down their own ship to get rid of us. Let's go. So we're in Little Junk Town now? Okay. Okay. We left Big Junk Town. We're in the Little Junk Town. I love the seamless transition between, like, cutscenes and, and gameplay. Uh, we might as well. Refill our health and ammo. It's only 286. Like, it doesn't cost that much. Also, we've been collecting a lot of rare titanium. A lot. So let's get some upgrades, shall we? We've had some stuff level up. Uh, I still don't really care about the topiary sprinkler. Um, we have these unlocked already, right? Yeah. So we don't really need any of those. I'm trying to get, like, the, the special upgrades first whenever, whenever possible. But, like, there's not that many of them to unlock at the moment. So, I still like the, the, oh wait, it's the Mist Fungal now. I guess, like, it upgraded and it changed its name whenever it upgraded or something? Question mark? I don't know. But, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's, uh, let's just buy the rest of the upgrades for this because I do actually really like it. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game so far. <laughs> So just get them all. The shatter bomb's pretty cool. I do really like the executor as well. Let's uh, yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's upgrade this one all the way. I wish we could get the full chain. Kind of bugs me. Oh, you know what? We probably could have. I'm just I'm just bad. That's fine. Whatever. We got it. We'll save the rest of our points until we unlock more more weapons or whatever. 18,254, and we need, what, like, 28,000? 20, 20, 26,000? Something like that for the next weapon. I don't even know where we're jumping to. Oh, just across... Just across to here. Okay, that's simple enough. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ow! So when we half pull the trigger now, we get two shots out of it instead of one. When we full pull it, we get four shots. That's pretty sick, man. That's a dope-ass weapon. And the Mist Fungal, as it's now known. Oh, you get two out of each. You get one fun guy and one uh, fun gal. That's pretty cool. I love it. Uh, collect all the rare titanium. Yes. I wish we could get more ammo for it, though. Like uh, a higher maximum ammo. Only having four is a little, or five is a little rough. Let's collect some more armor, just for the hell of it. So I'm probably gonna 100% this game at some point, so... Gotta do it sooner or later, man. Y'all have to let me know if you want me to 100% it on stream or, or off a stream. I'm thinking probably off. That way we can do more, you know, other games, but it's, uh, it's up to y'all, I guess. Whatever 
y'all want to keep seeing. We haven't rode a beetle in a while, man. Giddy up, cow. Cow, cow. <laughs> Isn't there like a, a way to turbo? Yeah, there it is. I couldn't remember. It's been so long. We probably haven't rode one of these in... Oh, boy. What? Uh, The first stream, right? So that would have been back in December. Like, yeah. It's been a while. Yeehaw! Yeehaw is right. Oh, God, no! <laughs> um, Is another one going to spawn over here? Yes, there we go. <laughs> I was like, uh, we we're, we might be just a tiny bit screwed. We were jumping a little, a little too high. Is this the, the ending? It is. Okay, that was easy enough. That one wasn't too bad. I'm sure there's probably like a bunch of extra... The Lombax Praetorian? That's pretty cool. Um, there's probably a lot of like chests that we could have collected and whatnot. Had we taken a bit of time. But we did not. How do we get down from here? There it is. Portal me, baby. I freaking love the whole portal concept, too. With, like, pulling us through here. I mean, portals are just... Portals are just fun, you know? It's, they're just a cool thing in general. Weird, but fascinating. Okay. Like, I mean, look at Portal, you know? Like, <laughs> like the game, Portal. It's so much fun. And it was so unique at the time. It's kind of kind of sad that they're not using portals as a as a device for puzzles here in this game, you know. So a, another another Wee Roger. Uh, can we get some fun people? Tethering to rifts to attack from different angles? I mean, that sounds smart. I don't know if we're that smart. <laughs> yeah, Pierre, come fight for yourself, you dick. Uh, where are my fun people? They're down here. They're still alive. That's good. I was a little worried that they might have died already. <laughs> they are amazing, but they're not the, uh... They're not the most, uh, lively bunch, the fun guys and fun gals. Go back to our blast pistol. And die, bitch. Uh, shatter bomb. Shatter bombs are good. Give her to that shield. Can you please hit the dude with the shield? Thank you. <laughs> Sassy I think I may have just hit one of the, uh, the fun people. The, the fungal people with my own freaking bomb. I'm assuming it doesn't do damage on on my own party members there. Uh, I don't like the look of your spinning blades, bruh. Those don't look nice. We are just trying to survive, right? We don't have to, like... They're not gonna, like, infinitely spawn until we kill... A specific enemy or anything? I hope not. I don't think that's the way this is working. But I'm a little worried that it could be. Uh, that looks like it was about to blow up. Hey, rare tanium. Hi. We'll take that. Portal? Please? Thank you. Where are the living dudes? Hi, friend. I doubt it. Pierre's never gonna take a hint. Gotta collect all the rupees, man. Gotta collect the rupees in our Ratchet and Clank game. That makes sense. Are we being shot at from just the big dude now? I think so. Okay. Hi, big dude. You look friendly enough. Not so wee, Roger. Okay. So, I mean, we killed your big... Or your little brother? Big brother? I don't know, I don't know what you would consider them, but, uh, they're dead already, so... I don't have much hope for, for you living through this. <laughs> Are you even gonna attack us? I think he was focused on the, the, the mushrooms. <laughs> oh, good, more people. That's what I wanted. While trying to fight a boss. Little enemies. 
Oh, man. The freaking four-way shotgun. Maybe my new favorite weapon, besides the, the fungal. <laughs> the Miss Fungal. Uh, hello? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right in front of me. Holy shit, in my blind, apparently. Much better. You were watching on your phone, but the lag was terrible. I'm guessing you're on your uh, laptop now. Hey, any news on the the desktop? Or you're waiting till your next pay, though, huh? I don't know when you... I don't know what your like pay schedule is like, but... Hopefully you get it soon and freaking love it. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there was a boost pad there, man. That almost ended badly. On the 15th. Okay, so yeah, you got you got a little while, but not too, too long. That's awesome, man. I really am excited for you. Bye, Miss Fungal. Alright, uh, so there's that thing there. Which I'm assuming is the way we need to go to get to that guy. That's the fixer, by the way. That giant ass dude. But, I mean, there's also this boost pad going over here. So, obviously, we gotta do this instead. Um, also, wow, portals are everywhere. Um, hi, slime people. So many rupees, I can't see. <laughs> I didn't realize we were playing a freaking Ghostbusters game. I don't know why the little green dudes make me think of Ghostbusters. Well, that was pretty. Just a lot of colors. Uh, <laughs> but, like, was there any any reason to go over here? Just the raritanium, I guess? And raritanium in pretty colors? I mean, hey, honestly, that's all the reason I need to come to an area. But I would like to know, how are we getting back? <laughs> um... I doubt we can actually stand on that. Last time I tried to do that, I died. Can we get up there? Oh, oh, more portals. Like, I see, I see there's stuff up there. But yeah, no, there's an invisible wall. We can't get up there. Oh, there's a freaking jump point over there. I didn't see it. I'm obviously blind. Okay, whatever, we got it. Freaking go for it. Is there is there another one? Oh no, there's a rail. We got this. Rail section. I can't I can't turn the camera. What's coming? There it is. And mag slide lev thing. I don't know what it's called. Yep, we'll we'll do a jump a hole. <laughs> hold three feet. We'll smack him with our hammer a couple times. Uh, isn't this like a, a kid's game? I don't, <laughs> I don't know if we should be doing that. What could possibly go wrong? Bruh, makes me want to play Fallout. <laughs> Reminds me of Liberty Plot Prime, like, heckin' huge, very heckin' huge. <laughs> Aww. Can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. I believe in you. If the freaking pirates would just leave us alone, maybe. Oh. Oh my. Bruh. <laughs> okay. So is that why he was turned off? Because he's uh kind of just destroying everything in his path. <laughs> yep. I mean, maybe you shouldn't have turned him on. I don't... So, teach you to turn on giant robots, Rivet. <laughs> you thought he was an Autobot, but he's a Decepticon. Oh, no. Or... <laughs> what is he, the Breaker now? That's a terrible pun. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is he missing his arm? I don't remember. Was Clank missing an arm? Oh, bruh. I am working on 
All of the action sequences in this game are just like 10 out of 10. Relatively simple things, but so much fun. Hi, buddy. Look, we just want to help you. Does he have a thorn in his foot or something? Like... We can pull out the, the thorn for you if you like. We're friendly, I swear. You can. I believe in you. Oh. That was cool. I mean, I think we're falling. <laughs> uh, where now? Okay. This is the world's worst roller coaster. I don't think it passes the last inspection. Oh, we're dead. GG. There's... No, you're not. <laughs> you are not holding his claw open. Even with your cool mechanical arm, there's no way Rivet is holding this dude back. Bruh. You fixed us, man. Thank you. You did it. Aw. That was heartfelt. So very many. And you became distressed. But being able to fix another, to see that all is not lost. How can I ever repay you both? Can you fix this? I didn't expect so many feelings from our giant robot friend. Oh wait, so like, he just, he's magic. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't use, like, his hands or tools or anything. He's just magic. That's how he fixes shit. I got it. Well, that, that was sweet. <laughs> Let's get back to the ship, shall we? Emotional yes. support robot. Oh, I Bro, I could use an emotional support robot. New That's new pretty sick. But only if he's that big. Like, Are we gonna talk about you I want a fixer replica. I did. You did. Looks like you're a natural even in my dimension. I thank you. Really. Does that mean you don't hate robots anymore? What else do we need? We just need one more golden bolt. Let's see if we can get it. We might be able to get it. What is that? Teleporter. Oh, I mean, okay. And then there's also a tiny bit of rare titanium, but I'm not I'm not gonna worry about getting all the rare titanium right now. But I do kind of want to get the bolt before we go. Is it this way? Uh, huh. No, it kind of looks like it's over that way. <laughs> Wait. So we probably go from there to there, over to there. Okay, yeah. I think we're I think we went the wrong way. Is, can we can we go back? Uh, is there is there a a portal back maybe? No. Hey, Mr. Fixer dude, can you, like, pick me up and, <laughs> and take me to the other side? I made a wrong turn. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll just, we'll, we'll make the loop. It's okay, friend. Don't worry about us. We're, we're okay. And, I mean, since we're over here, though... Right, where was that rare titanium? Oh, shit, the rare titanium is all the way over there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, since we're over here, maybe we'll just go ahead and grab it, but it turns out we, we apparently went the wrong way for that, too. We just went the wrong way for everything, really. It's okay, we're, we're, getting, we're getting some bolts and some ammo. Ammo? Ammo. So everything's, everything's okay. How are we going to get back? Are we going to have to do the, the grinding sequence again? But with everything being destroyed... Uh, oh, okay. So we can't grind to get back. And I'm assuming there's nothing new over here now, right? 
We can't go up there. Nope, invisible walls. Okay. Just teleport back. No, don't hit the freaking thing. So don't go that way. Go this way. Aw, that's, that's a life lesson for us all. Also, are we having a frame rate issue? I don't know. The frame rate looked a little low there for a second, man. I think the game's getting too pretty for its own good. Maybe that uh, maybe that Decepticon down there is a little a little much for even the PS5 to handle. Oh, freaking shotgun! I thought we had the re the the regular blaster equipped. Plus 46 blast ammo. Nice, nice. Okay, so we want to get over there still. Uh, looks like we need to take the rail. Oh, that's right. We missed a uh, a, a teleport thing. We, we saw a, a teleport pad at one point. And I didn't grab it. It's also where the rare tanium is, so that's cool. Because I couldn't remember what freaking button sent us through <laughs> the portals. Here comes another one. I'm a pro gamer, really, I swear. Well, I mean, I we're not getting the hurl shot the now. Like, something about fractured spines. Oh. <laughs> fractured spines. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. If you if if you've seen what it does to you. <laughs> There's a risk. There we go. And then, gotcha. All right, now we just need to make our way to the portal. What does that gold bolt do, though? Can we see it from here? Uh, I'm not that worried about the armor. Photo mode, RPG, ship skins, rendering modes. What? Oh, neat. Home movie? How is home movie and none any different? Huh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> We are. <laughs> that is. Nope. Mm -mm. Not. <laughs> not using that one. Okay, uh, Noir is kind of neat, but like I don't want to play in black and white or or sepia tones. Mars looks kind of interesting, so it just gives everything a nice uh, orange hue to it. That's fine. Like, we could play this way, but it mutes all of the amazing colors in the game. Like I don't want to do that. This game is beautiful. Oh Jesus, we almost fell. <laughs> I forgot that we had to like hold the button there. Oh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's turn that off. It's neat, I suppose, but, yeah, I don't think we would, uh, be playing with that. No, we reset everything. They should not have a reset all button like that without a, uh, without at least having some sort of prompt. We want rupees, please. You know what? Let's play with orbs for a little bit. We haven't, we never tried the orbs out. Let's try that. Peace. There we go. That looks, <laughs> that looks much better. What is the, uh, is there an optional thing to do in this area? I didn't see it if there was. But it's perfectly reasonable to believe that I just missed it. Uh, this way? Uh, okay, yeah, the orbs are neat. I, I think I like the rupees better. I mean, all the pretty colors are the best. <laughs> Having them all fly around the screen and shit like that. Just looks really nice. But the orbs are okay, too. I mean, we could collect the uh, the energy drinks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The energy drinks. Is that from Sunset Overdrive? Nate, I don't know if you're still around, but you played Sunset Overdrive, right? Overcharge? I think that is. Because that was a Insomniac game, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm pretty sure Insomniac's the maker of uh, Ratchet and Clank here. So I'm thinking that is a, uh, a Sunset Overdrive reference. Having all these energy drink cans that you collect. Oh yeah, you think it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty cool. That's the game. I, I was asking Nate the other day if there was a uh, game on Xbox that I should play. Like exclusive to Xbox. And he brought up Sunset Overdrive. So has another guy that I asked that same uh, question to. And, uh, yeah, I didn't even put two and two together until just now that the energy drinks would be, would be from that. 
Uh, excuse me, ship. I'm trying to go in. Please and thank you. <laughs> oh, so there is no optional thing here. At least not right now. Eh, well, whatever. We finished it. Next. World numero whatever this is. Cordelian. Kadaro Station. This is an ocean. That's Pretty cool, a right? Big freaking just, ocean. Once we forge this thing and save the dimension, you'll have a whole universe to explore. How are you not afraid of the future? With all of its unknowns. I do get uh you asked me on Savali if I wanted to find my family. For a long time, I did. I mean, I really did. But the closer I got to doing that, what if they're not what I expected? What if I'm not what they expected? I just... Anyways, I think we're here. All the feels, man. I expect so many feelings in my Ratchet and Clank game. <laughs> Alright. Well, we have been playing for an hour. So I think it's an excellent time to take a short break. Just for just for a couple minutes. Uh, we'll run an ad, get rid of the pre-roll. I'm going to get up, stretch, get a drink, do all that stuff. So we'll be back in like uh, two, three minutes, guys. Awesome. Oh, okay, so that's not a number of hits up there. That's a number of lives. Okay. Oh. Good. We're gonna we're gonna die at the first boss. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. We're <laughs> God. Oh no. This is so bad. I'm bad gamer. Okay. We got we got this. It's all good. It's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's it's arcadey. It's fine. We can die as much as we want because we can just put an infinite coins in, so, so everything's okay. Ah, can you go down through platforms? I wonder. You can. Okay, I should have known that. Can you dodge roll through attacks? This is important information. I don't know. I need to figure this out. Oh, wait. Do we have a limited number of coins? I saw, like, a, a little number pop up there. Also, I feel like I should just be... I was trying to do, like, too many charge shots. I feel like I should just be... Uh, just firing away. Yeah, I almost feel like that does... Wow. <laughs> I'm so mad at this first boss, man. This is terrible. Not the game, just me. Like, I'm sure the game is fine. It's alright, we got this. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're learning. It's a learning experience. I feel you remember when I was first introduced to proxy sites. Go to Flash Games like this school. Yeah, man. Beautiful times. Beautiful times. And then I don't know about at your school, but at our school, the uh, they eventually wisened up to the fact that proxy sites were a thing. And so they started banning those, too. So it was like a never-ending race of, you know, us finding new proxy sites that the school didn't know about yet. And then just constantly going back and forth. Oh, did I... Can... Yeah, the hearts on the top left are, like, your, your lives. But then you can respawn. Um, and it seems like you have a certain number of coins, though. Like, they try to make it arcade almost. Can you duck? You can. I don't know if it actually makes you shorter. I think it does. I'm definitely going to game over very soon. That is going to happen. Just have to accept that. I bet you this game would be fun in two-player. It's kind of like a, uh, like a, like a brawler, right? Like a side-scrolling brawler. But with, uh... Uh, guns. <laughs> Alright. I'm bet. Speaking of unexpected things in video games, I, I've mentioned it in a couple streams. I've been playing Final Fantasy VIII on the PlayStation 1, right? And uh, 
last night when I was playing it, I ended up going to freaking space. So, spoilers for a really old game, I guess. But, like, that was super unexpected. <laughs> like, I didn't expect to end up in space. Like, in a Final Fantasy game. That was pretty, that was pretty neat. It was also a very heartfelt moment with, like, a, a one of the main characters and, and stuff. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, ooh, okay, well, they are not friendly. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, one of the main characters was having some trouble and shit, so. It's a very heartfelt moment, but also, like, I was in space, man, on a Final Fantasy game. Very, very cool. Ended up being really neat. I was uh, mad that I had to stop. Like, I had to go to bed at some point. So I <laughs> I decided to call it quits for the night. But I really wanted to, to, to see what was going to happen next. I, not to mention the fact that I feel like I was getting close to being done with that disc. With disc 3. So, uh, like, there was that, too. I got one to keep playing so I could just kind of get that part done with, too. <laughs> so while I am enjoying Final Fantasy VIII a lot, like, don't get me wrong... I, uh, it's definitely not my favorite Final Fantasy game. Like, it, it's no, it's no Final Fantasy 7, you know? Uh, these guys are, are irritating me. Let's get some fun guys up in here to help out. No, 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 no. Uh, what are you guys? You guys seem pretty chill. There must be another way in. Also, I missed the rupees already. <laughs> the the energy drinks are neat, but uh, rupees are where it's at, man. Although, we haven't tried the gold coins. We'll try the gold coins if I stop hitting triangle like a freaking dumbass. Okay, coins, hammer skin, bubble gum, RPG on, ship skin, rebel, rendering normal. Gonna buy the Final Fantasy VII remake on Switch? Wait, what? Is that a thing? I didn't think it was on Switch, man. It was PlayStation exclusive for like a year or something like that. It's out on PC now. I think you're talking about the just the Final Fantasy VII port on Switch. I think is what is what you're thinking. I mean, an excellent game. I still think it's a ton of fun, but it, it is an older RPG game. So if you don't like classic JRPGs, it might be a bit of an issue. But yeah. Some Final Fantasy VII on Switch. Yeah, I think it's just the uh, the port of it. Which, again, in my opinion, still a very good game. But it is a, a old, you know, classic JRPG. So if you're not into classic JRPGs, that could be a problem. I like the coins, too. Like, they're a little bit flashy. But uh, the rupees with all of their different colors are just where it's at, man. That's what I'm going to turn on and leave on. Rubies... Or, I keep calling them rupees, because, you know, they're meant to be rupees. Like, who are we kidding, man? That, that's definitely a Zelda thing. Yeah, I mean, it is really good, Nate. I would suggest it. It's, I don't think it's too expensive either, right? Like, it's not... It's what, like 10, 15 bucks, something like that? It's not too, too bad. Um. Okay, so the Cold Snap is cheaper than the Glove of Doom, but the Glove of Doom came first. And I really kind of want the Glove of Doom because I just, I really like this weapon. So I'm going to, I'm going to buy that one. <laughs> then might as well refill the health and ammo since we're here. And what do we have? Do we have any upgrades that we can do? Topiary sprinklers, meh, I'm not worried about it. Fungal's done. Negatron, I mean, we haven't used the Negatron in a while. Love of Doom. Let's, uh, we do need to put this on our hot, hot bar because we are going to end up using the Glove of Doom a fair bit, I bet. Yeah, it's not a bad price. It's totally obvious they're rupees. Also, sorry for the silence. You were doing some tank cleaning. No worries at all, man. You don't need to say sorry for that. I appreciate everyone that comes into stream, whether they chat the whole time or not. Like, obviously, I really like chatting with, with everybody, but... I completely understand that some people just don't care for chatting on Twitch, and that's fair. Um, and then everybody has lives and shit they gotta do and whatnot too, so no worries at all, man. Oh, just thank you for being here. A common element for storing energy. But why does it look so, so purple? Should I smack it? It's related to all the dimensional chaos happening. If that is the case, I believe hitting it will either shift us to another dimension yep. or cause us to implode. So hit it. <laughs> I knew it. The Blizzard must have 
absorb the excess Kadara station dimension question mark okay we have shifted into another dimension wait is this is this ash or snow I'm a little confused about which one it is Ooh, okay I think it's snow just based off of us like sliding down and whatnot although I guess with enough ash it would uh <laughs> be pretty slippery too if it makes you feel better, you were running LED lights while you waited on your turn in D&D. Yeah, he was last night. Came out pretty neat, though. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to go on the elevator yet. I don't want to go! Alright, well, I guess we don't have a choice. It is dark in here. Snow day! Man, I'm so mad. Like, kids these days, and these days, I mean, like, this year, have gotten so many snow days. When I was a kid, I feel like I got like five my entire my entire school stay, you know? Like I'm sure it was actually a couple more than that, but that's what it felt like. Bruh, I feel you there. Never enough. Never was and never will be. <laughs> Work needs more snow days, man. Where I work at, they don't close, like, ever. So, <laughs> I wish they did. That would be dope. Do you think the Rubion Forge does too? Possibly. But with the state of everything here, who knows if it would work? That's fine. We'll just break in and then go back to the other dimension, right? Yeah, exactly. You got the right idea there, Clank. Or Ratchet. Look, whoever you are. <laughs> too many characters for me to keep my head straight. Can't keep track of them all, man. I can... Barely keep track of my own name half the time. This area is VV dark. The lighting is really nice though. And the reflections. I haven't really noticed the reflections in the water before. But they look nice. A bit low res, but still they look really nice. Got bored and felt super random. <laughs> Snow days aren't even a freaking thing it seems now, right? They send home work packets and now they're going to send them with a Chromebook for virtual when they're snow... Yeah, I mean, that's true. There is that. But, like, honestly, I would have much preferred doing schooling online on a computer to actually going in and dealing with all that shit, too. Because, like, at home, on a Chromebook or whatever, I can just complete my work and get it over with. Or if it's, like, one of the things where we have to be in a, a live stream for the class, I can still be doing, like, other shit in the while, while I'm there. As long as I'm paying enough attention, you know, like... <laughs> They can't really, they can't really do shit about it. So I would have taken that to, to what we ended up getting. Uh, what happened to all my weapons? That's weird. Why are all my weapons? Wait, they're there. Uh, hello? Oh, we have multiple pages of weapons. Holy shit, dude. I am stupid. <laughs> I never knew that was a thing. That is, that's nice, actually. That's really nice. Okay, then. Well, <laughs> I just wanted the blast pistol to, to shoot that. Like, <laughs> holy crap. They're doing it for a preschooler? Nuh-uh. They're sending home a Chromebook for a preschooler? I knew they were sending them home for, like, the, the kindergartners and, and whatnot. Which even then seemed a little bit young, but preschoolers, that that seems like maybe a little bit much, man. Music pack? Oh, just to play music at the, the jukebox. Okay, well, I mean, that's neat, but doesn't really do much for us during, during normal gameplay or whatever. Yeah, but like, if packet isn't completed, they're counting it as an absence. I mean, fair, you know, I don't... I don't know. Obviously, I, I prefer... From a personal standpoint, just an actual snow day with not having to do anything. But, like, that actually seems reasonable. You know, having a, a packet of work that you need to do or, or a Chromebook to work on or whatever. As long as they're the ones that are providing all that shit. The day they require parents to, to, to pay for Chromebooks and shit like that, that's when I would start getting upset. Because, like, obviously, there's a lot of people that just can't. Chromebooks aren't that expensive. But even $100 is a lot to some families, you know? Like, that's that's paying the electric bill for that month or not. Or, or paying rent for that month or not. So, as long as they're going to provide it and, and uh, replace it if it gets broken and shit, then whatever. Although, 
Like, again, though, I do want to be clear. I definitely would prefer just giving kids snow days. Because, like, man, we put too much shit on kids, you know? Like, let children be children, for Christ's sakes, man. Because someday, they're going to grow up and be adults, and then they're going to realize that life fucking sucks. <laughs> and, like, just let them enjoy their childhood while they're at it. Or, you know? That's how I feel about that. Like, that's why I, I, it really irritates me whenever I see... It's like, I work at a store, I've mentioned before. And it really irritates me whenever I see parents being absolute dickheads to their children. Um, like, dude, they only get one childhood. They only get one chance to be carefree and have fun. Like, let them freaking do it, man. You know? Like, I remember one year, uh, a parent was getting a doll for their children... And uh, they were sold out because it was like a Black Friday thing. And they were sold out. So the one they, the parent wanted, not that the child wanted, the one that the parent wanted was sold out. The child was perfectly fine getting the other one. But God forbid they get the, the other one that was the same exact price because the parent didn't like it. Like, bro, that's the dumbest thing. And I've seen that happen more recently too with a, uh, it was a, a basketball player doll. I forget which one. But point is, the parent didn't like that basketball player's team, or or maybe that specific player or whatever, so refused to get the, the doll, the, the toy for the kid. Like, bruh, why does your freaking opinion on basketball teams matter? Like, your kid wanted the doll to play with. Like, he don't give a fuck if they play for whatever team. Like, just grow up, you know? Like, people are ridiculous. It's stupid in your opinion, he's a freaking preschool, and nah, if y'all didn't feel like it was safe to go for school... And we aren't sure if they will provide internet and stuff. You just said is one of the reasons I'm so ticked about. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't think about the whole internet thing. Yeah, no, that's a legitimate concern there, too. I didn't think about that. Like, sending home a work packet to be done? That's one thing, I guess. But, yeah, are they going to provide internet access for, for children? They, they definitely should. If they're going to send home uh, smart devices and require you to use that as part of your child's schooling, then... They should have to provide internet access. It could be shit internet access for all I care, but it should be some sort of internet access, you know? That's a fair point, man. I'm with you on that. Uh, hello? No, I'm not someone else. I'm me. Yeah. For some bleeze on? Oh, I know just the place. But I lost my access arm in all of this water. Have to drain it. But how, Ratch? How? Calm down. Um, he's giving me some best friend bot vibes from The Last World. <laughs> I forget his name, but those are the vibes he's giving me right now. Oh, do we actually have to hit that with our hammer? Can we hit it from a distance with our. Uh, come on. Up. I'm sure we could just, like, go up there. We're just gonna have to do that instead, because <laughs> that's not working. Jim! That's it. Jim. Um, can we swim in this water? Yeah, okay. That's good. Can we maybe... I want to double jump and then jump. No, grab it, Ratchet! I believe in you! Grab it! No. Uh. There's got to be a way up there, right? Our bullets aren't working. Can we, like, maybe use some fucked up geometry to get up there? Oh, there we go. That gave us a little bit of height. Oh, man. I feel like we're so close. So close yet so far, you know? Okay. There are no we got this. Hush. Ah, oh, my lord. Whatever. I give up mess with it later. Also, was that just a freaking shark or something? Who took damage? Uh, camera? Please? In general, you just think it's trash. Normally, a couple of days a year like we used to go out sledding and all that. Now we can't go out to get this work packet done. Like, school don't eat up most of the kids here already. Yeah, I mean, like, are they, are they not giving any snow days? Because I remember, like, I don't remember what school district it was, but I do remember seeing a thing where one school district, even though they were doing online classes at that point because of the pandemic or whatever, they still did give the kids at least one real snow day that year. 
uh, for that very reason, because that was that was valuable family time, you know, for for the kids and for the parents to be able to play games, go sledding, build snowmen, do all that that fun junk. So I would hope, even with the packets and whatnot, they would still do it occasionally. And I mean, obviously, I'm not in school. I don't have any school age children. But I would think that a, a work packet would take less time to do than a full blown um, school day. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of how to get over there to that thing. It's still bothering me. <laughs> say it louder for those in the back. What I say. Tell that to all my college professors. <laughs> oh. College is a little bit different. I, I don't think my college ever canceled school the year that I that I went there. They may have and I just forgotten or something, you know. My memory is pretty shit, but yeah. Plus at college, like, besides scholarship reasons, they didn't care if I was there or not. Like, I could miss as many days as I wanted to. And it's not like school where they threatened to you know, send my parents to jail for missing school. It was just, uh, hey, if you miss too many days of school, we're not going to pay for you to be here anymore. <laughs> like, which, you know, fair, I guess. Thankfully, my teacher was pretty cool, though. She usually covered for me. The My favorite professor. She didn't really care if I was there or not, because I had, like, perfect marks anyway, so... <laughs> Basically, now, if there's a snow day, they will do virtual school. The work packet, you're not as annoyed about, but still think there's trash. Main issue is doing virtual class on snow days. Yeah, I just, I hope they would keep that to a reasonable level. Like, if that's what they're going to do, you know? Not have it be a every, every day sort of deal. Also, that was extremely easy. We should have just waited to try to get that stuff. <laughs> oh. Okay. I thought these were, like, mines or something like that. No, they're just, uh... <laughs> They're just the bouncy pads. They, uh... They kind of retracted once the water left, I suppose. Ah, poor fishy. These fish look creepy as hell, though. Kidding me? You're only glad they didn't cancel school when COVID hit because you wouldn't have gotten a refund on your tuition? Did they do... I'm assuming they probably did online courses for your uh, school whenever COVID hit. I was, you know, long out of school by then, but I know that's what a lot of different colleges did from friends and things like that yes and it was horrible <laughs> yeah I'm, i am glad i gotta do in-person classes for college there were some of them that i definitely wouldn't have minded doing online but uh a lot of them w were were nice to do in person where are we going exactly we turned on the thing oh do we just need to talk to the junk bot now where's he at junk bot friend uh, way too excited, friendo. Did you already leave? Maybe we just need to leave. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> door. Mm, other door. So this door. There we go. Oh. So, wait. <laughs> you made us do that so you could press buttons? I mean, I could have pressed buttons. Could have just told me what buttons to press, man. I would have done it for you. Uh, junk bot. What are what are what are these? They're kind of they're kind of purple and scary <laughs> looking. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, sometimes that's just what best friends do, man. Juicini. JC, there we go. I like that one. We'll call it. We'll call him JC. Mr. Mr. Juice or Mrs. Juice can be JC. <laughs> Junk bot, honey, you deserve better. Uh, Raritanium. Can we just go down? I guess we can probably just go down, right? Get it. Was that it down here? No other goodies. No rupees. Bounce. Anything in the center platform? It's a weird looking plant. Break everything. 
junk bot. Where are we going? See? Elevators. Bam. Now let me just elevators? Is that what? Is that what we're looking for? Elevators? It has been uh, like 30 seconds. AKA, you don't want to do it. <laughs> you feeling? You do though? No, you really don't. <laughs> Y'all have too many points. I have to find something for you to spend points on. Something else. <laughs> I like doubled the price and y'all are still, still getting all the points to do it. Crazy. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> gotta, gotta pause the game to appease Rue over here. What time is it? 18.30. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> uh, we're singing our ABCs for five minutes because that is what Rue asked for. That's a fact. Uh, killing slimes and finding bl blizons. <laughs> uh, don't forget the glove of doom. You gotta look up some disturbed lyrics. Uh, it, into the night. Uh, <laughs> oh, wah ah ah ah. Uh, come on, get up, get down with the sickness. I don't remember lyrics that well. Down, not. <laughs> uh, with the. Here we go. It, oh, that's... Can, can you feel that? <laughs> oh, shit. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Open up your hate and let it flow into me. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You fucker, get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Well, I had it backwards. <laughs> And when I dream, oh. And when I dream. Oh, they cut it off. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Open up your hate and let it flow into me. I don't know what we're doing. I can't remember where we're supposed to go. <laughs> I junk bot doesn't seem to want us and we can't do anything. <laughs> I'm I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I probably scared away anybody else that ever thought of uh of of watching, but uh <laughs> you had your fun at least. <laughs> Love you too, Rue. <laughs> oh, I, I still don't know where the hell we're supposed to be going though. <laughs> we were doing we were we were elevator, right? We went in the elevator and it's still not doing anything. Junkbot lied to me. Uh well we found more chests though at least. <laughs> I need to uh like think of some songs that I just actually know really well. So I don't have to sing the lyrics. I can just sing some sort of bullshit. Like whatever whatever I'm doing. I can just I can just sing that instead of the actual words for the song. Ratchetti. I I like Chet or or Ratch. Ratchetti just sounds a little bit weird. Although Chet's not my favorite either. You can blame that on me. Don't worry. <laughs> hey JC. JC's looking friendly. We need to hang out with JC. That seems fun. You're jealous. I mean, if he wants to come out and play, I'm all for it, man. Let's go. Sounds like a pasta. It does kind of, actually. You're right. Maybe don't stare at it for six hours? That, that seems like a, uh... That seems like a bad idea. Okay. Where are we going in here? Is there a teleporter? Nope. No teleporter. Okay. So go up. Up we shall go. Man, now I kind of want pasta, though. I'm actually kind of hungry. All I ate this morning was a, a pie and a salad. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to eat. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I have, like, some, some canned food. I considered warming up some canned food. But I was feeling lazy. Plus, I had to dig my car out and shit. I didn't feel like, uh... I didn't feel like cooking anything real. Another dimension? And pasta actually sounds amazing. Okay. These bots don't seem too friendly with each other. But pasta's easy to make. After after stream, maybe tonight that's what I'll do. Oh, yeah. Uh, something that I should mention to everybody. I, I haven't thought about it until now. If you have looked at my stream schedule, there's an extra stream on there. I talked to the Dorseman, Jonathan, yesterday or maybe the day before. I don't remember when exactly. But he insists that he should be able to do the podcast stream nearly every Sunday. So, we're gonna start trying to do the podcast every Sunday. Starting tonight, actually. Um, so, he, he works fairly often on Sundays. So, it won't be until, like, after hours, you know, a little bit later... Probably around 12, 1230 is when I would expect it to start most nights uh, or most Sundays. But that's uh, that's kind of the plan, though. So 12 o'clock tonight after this stream ends and we all have a bit of a break. I should be back on to talk about some 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 video games with my buddy John. And uh, and yeah, so that should be fun. We'll probably spend a lot of time BSing, too, because we don't want to have like a really, really short half hour stream. We want to uh, spend a little bit more time streaming than that, but we only actually do the podcast for like 20 minutes to a half hour per per video game that we cover. Um, 
So, yeah, we'll probably spend like 20-30 minutes doing that and the rest of the time we'll just be BS with class. With class? With chat? <laughs> That's fair, just that means you have to catch up later on them? Yeah, I mean, we release them on, on all different kinds of, of podcasting platforms and of course on YouTube and whatnot as well. If you want to see footage along with us, us talking about it. So, uh, so, yeah, no worries if you got to catch up on it later, but just so everybody knows, that is kind of the plan. For the for the time being at least. Looks like the forge's controls are right up on that platform. So go up on the platform and forge the dimensionator. We got this, man. No worries. One missed fungal ammo. Yeah, and uh for anybody who who hasn't heard before, the plan for this year by the way, is to cover mostly PlayStation 2 games, since that's kind of the main thing that I'm streaming anyways. Uh, Dorsman said that he would love to kind of just do a year of PS2. So that's what we're, we're mostly going to be doing. We will still be doing some uh, requests from different viewers that we never got around to before, as well as uh, just just games that, that you know we're really excited about or whatever we might end up playing that isn't that aren't PS2 games but the the main plan is to be playing ps2 games so awesome glad for the co-host come back yeah it should be a lot of fun man it, it's always fun just talking to and bsing with with jonathan um and i like getting his perspective on video games sometimes so it should be good plus i'm just excited to get the 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 podcast going again you know we haven't really got to do much with it in a while so the controls are up on that platform. How the hell do we get up to the platform? Can we go through one of the doors? Nope. I don't see any dimension jumping stuff. Oh, wait. There's one up there. I am blind, but we found it. Hey, we also got a little buddy. A spy bot. Do the spy bots, like, tell us anything? Because we collected one earlier, too. Nefarious City. I think that's the one we had already gotten. Yeah, whatever. I'm not that worried about listening to those right now. <laughs> if people really want to hear them, we'll listen to them. But yeah, I, uh, it doesn't seem like it has too much important information. Just, just BS about whatever world we're on. A little bit of world building a junk. Schematics uploaded. Uh, the, the the I don't know if we should press the skull button. That doesn't seem like a, a very good idea. Are you winging this? Come on. <laughs> I kind of wish he would have hit the skull button just to see what the hell it does. Um, so about that, guys. <laughs> My bad. Well, so much for forging a dimensionator. Oh, now the robots are, are less friendly. <laughs> uh... Unethical science experiments? Yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to do that. Um I guess it wasn't fully powered, but that other button didn't look right. Yeah, why would you press the death looking button? <laughs> Intuiting it, yeah. We gotta get out of here. I like it. Ow! So escape to the other dimension? Okay. I suppose we could do that. Are these guys gonna infinitely spawn? Or hey, Noodle! Glad you could come back into the stream, love. Nice to see ya. Hope work's not going too bad today. Waiting for me to come across the Kingdom Hearts Easter egg? Honestly, so am I. I expected it to be a little bit earlier in the game from the way you were talking about it before, and then it just never happened. I was a, was a little disappointed, man, not gonna lie. You hate everyone? <laughs> Well, that's not very nice. What did uh, Nate and Rue do to you, man? 
and just be hating on him like that. <laughs> Obviously, I know that's not what you meant. Hi, Nefarious. What do you mean? I got a license. Of some kind. Oh, hi, big dude. Didn't see you there. <laughs> uh, lightning run. Yeah, make short work of the robots. Okay. We're going, we're going. Yeah, but, like, where is the police on? Because the, the door that I thought we had to go through is kind of closed. Can you use my card for coffee creamer? And do you, I want or need anything? Uh, I mean, probably, but I can't think of anything at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so, love. Not really. But, yeah, you can use my card, though. That's fine. You were just so freaking dumb. Very true. Very true. I feel ya. I do kind of want something to snack on, but I have no idea what. Do we have any spaghetti sauce left, or are we out of spaghetti sauce? Because I opened that one jar and then never never finished it. Um, so, like, I wouldn't mind some of that, because we were talking about pasta, and now I kind of want pasta. <laughs> Although I do have jars of spaghetti or of uh, tomatoes, so you don't even need to. Yeah, don't worry about it. We got all that the jars of uh, tomatoes. I forgot about that. Maybe I'll finally take the uh, the sausage that we got in the freezer, and make some homemade sausage spaghetti sauce or something. Butter garlic noodles. Yeah, that sounds good, man. We'll just uh, we'll have pasta tonight for dinner. You can eat butter garlic noodles, and I'll eat spaghetti. See, I don't think we need anything. If you want to get uh, how much did you say? Cheetos are three for six. Yeah, go ahead and get some Cheetos then for both of us. You can get more. Get more for less. You need cheese. All right, then fine. I guess you can buy, buy, buy some cheese too. My needy baby needs cheese for her pasta. Butter and garlic isn't good enough, apparently. Back in my day, we didn't have no cheese for pasta, okay? Butter garlic noodles meant you ate butter and garlic on your noodles. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually making butter garlic noodles now because we were talking about them yesterday. Yeah, Nate and I did talk about them yesterday. I was talking about uh, spaghetti and my favorite way to make spaghetti these days is just to make some bomb ass butter garlic noodles and then add spaghetti sauce. Like, unless I'm making a homemade pasta sauce. Like, that's just how I do it. Cheesy butter garlic noodles? I prefer just the regular butter and garlic though, love. I, I really do. Like, the cheesy butter garlic is fine, but... Butter garlic is where it's at. How do we... So I see the blizz on, but uh, I was probably talking and not paying attention. How the hell did we get get it out? Uh... Oh, there's a... Probably the thing in the middle of the room that we can grab onto and twist and do stuff with. Maybe that. <laughs> Never had butter garlic noodles? Oh, Lord, yeah. They are delicious, and it's like the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> what happens when you when you grow up poor man you just <laughs> you eat poor people food like butter garlic noodles it's just uh it, it's just you know you you make some pasta whatever kind you want but spaghetti is kind of the classic and then you you cover it in and some butter and some garlic and uh whatever seasonings you like and uh you eat it it's like <laughs> oh and picky children too yeah that's true picky children as well uh a good glove of doom i bet would do wonders right now with these dudes that are actually kind of kicking my ass. Yeah, Mr. Noodle is a picky child. So, like... <laughs> so, having food that she can eat is uh, is nice. Plus, with, like, gutter barley... Oh, my lord. Garlic butter noodles. I can make the noodles, pull some out for her to have garlic butter noodles, and then I can, uh, you know, put spaghetti sauce or whatever on mine. And here, I just go for Alfredo. Alfredo's delicious, man. Don't get me wrong. But, it's more expensive than a little bit of uh, garlic powder and butter. <laughs> Stream can't speak English. Eight. Example. Eight. Uh, I mean, they're going to fix it eventually, right? Like, you might have to wait a little while, but we would be able to get back across sooner or later. 
reason all these emergency rafts don't make me feel much safer. That's that's fair, honestly, yeah. Um So wait, how do we I guess we got to like hit them one by one? I'm not a, uh, okay, yep. Well, we died already. <laughs> I love Alfredo too, but I don't like jarred Alfredo. Yeah, she's, like I said, she's a child. <laughs> she's a picky eater. I love her to death, I do, but she's she's picky as shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ugh. Falling all over the place. Rue can't type English, <laughs> example one. Ha! See, it goes both ways, Rue. <laughs> oh, Lord. Bring it, Noodle. <laughs> Sounds like you just made her shit list. Uh, can we just grab the thing and be done with the bouncy pads? Because <laughs> bouncy pads lead to death. Oh, wait. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get something to land on first before we bounce over there. That, that makes sense. That would help. Having somewhere to go after after swinging. You're not picky? Very picky. Very picky about food. She doesn't like red sauce. Unless it's on pizza for some reason. And even then, it's not her favorite. Whenever we first got together, she wouldn't eat mushrooms, Miracle Whip, um, fish of any kind. Like, there's, there's plenty more examples I'm sure I can't think of. Basically, any vegetable ever. I still have to fight you to eat vegetables half the time, although you've been better about that. Like, Sierra doesn't like any condiments. You had to change your cooking a lot because of that. See, I just, I, I give up. Like, <laughs> there's no way, man. Like, with noodle, I uh, I usually, if I can, I'll make, like, two servings or whatever. But I've, I usually just end up making myself food these days. <laughs> like... <laughs> Although she has been better lately. Like I said, she's been trying more and more things and realizing that she likes most of them. I still can't get Noodle to touch lettuce or tomato, like actual tomato. Um, or peppers of any kind. But but that's a lot better than how it was whenever we first got together. Probably won't catch a lot of them. You don't pay that much attention. Yeah, that's true. That's true. She doesn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Junkbot. Junkbot, what would it take to get your Ruby on Forge working again? Well, there is the power. Issue. Right. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, that's fine. We we got a little a little friend that can deal with the viruses. Nice and easy, like. Where though? Where where do we repair the system at? One of these consoles? Nope. Maybe down there by Junkbot. There it is. Plug it in. Let's go. Me and Glitch, the bestest of friends. Little spider dude to the rescue. Wait, this dimension has viruses too? Every dimension has viruses. This is a nuke pulse upgrade. A nuke pulse? Hell yeah. Okay. They're flying now too? Yep. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, Glitch is acting like a badass. It's a little weird. I'm used to Glitch being like the the scared little robot. Uh, how do I use the nuke pulse though? Oh, there we go. Okay, so wait. Okay, Glitch is gonna die. I'm very sorry, Glitch. Uh. <laughs> I like you a lot, but, um, <laughs> yep, we failed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Glitch. Shit. Sorry, we'll try again. Alright, so it's the, I think it was the X button. X button for, for, for the, the nuke. What's up here? Oh. Oh, my lord. I'm just wasting ammo on that. I know, I'm trying to nuke the shield, but it's not working. Why are there so many of them? Oh, my lord. 
Okay, that's not shutting down the shield, though, is it? How do we... Oh, it's right there. God, man. Spend one week not playing this game, and I completely forget how... <laughs> how glitch works. Holy crap. Okay, it's okay. We've got... <laughs> We've got 28 health left out of 100. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. Red sauce, garlic sauce, and once in a while she will use soy sauce. And you get it with pizza. You get white pizza a lot because of that. I love white pizza. I mean, I'm a huge Alfredo fan. So, like, I love white pizza. But a lot of times I just want a good red sauce pizza, you know? Just a nice classic pepperoni or whatever, like... Deleted is right. Uh, where is your cord going? Your cord's coming up here. So does that shut you down? It does. Excellent. Uh, I'm not trying to get on you, but I don't know where your cord is. There it is. There's too many enemies. <laughs> oh, no. Die, please. We haven't actually lost any more health, though. We're doing okay. Everything is A-OK. -okay. I don't know how we haven't lost any more health, because I feel like we totally should have, but we haven't. Uh, one left. One left. Where? Where? Oh, over here. Why does it show three left? Like, the, the, the screen says three, but I'm only seeing one. <laughs> and how do we get over there? Oh, wait, are we on the ceiling? Okay, yeah, no, we need to... <laughs> we need to maybe get back down to Earth. That That might help. Uh, yeah, you said that glitch. Firewall should be totally clear. Ooh. So, you look big and mean. Is it just the one? Oh, that was easy. Okay. Yeah. It still shows more on the screen, but I guess, like, we only had to kill a certain oh never mind okay hello uh we're dead <laughs> we got trapped man i couldn't go anywhere or do anything there's a lot of local places pizza places you don't like because of their sauce yeah there's only one that i don't like and that's because their sauce is sweet man i don't want my pizza sauce to be sweet ever for any reason like <laughs> sweet pizza sauce is the worst pizza sauce like actual trash <laughs> I don't understand it I don't know why people got to put sugar in everything though like I'm just not into sugar in all of my food like I like sweet stuff obviously I eat pie and and donuts and cake sometimes and shit like I'm not against sh sugar 100% but like it doesn't need to be in every food you know your chili don't need no sugar in it your spaghetti Oh, there's a master virus? <laughs> Plot twist. Oh. Glitch is so cute. But anyways, yeah, like, it doesn't need to be in your spaghetti. It doesn't need to be in your pasta. Like, everything doesn't need sugar added to it. it it's, it's bad. <laughs> is that the one you really, really like? Yeah. Yeah, it is. The disgusting one. <laughs> like, it's so gross. And it's, like, the only local pizza place that does, like, deep dish pizzas and whatnot, too. So I was very disappointed whenever I tried it and it was sweet as hell. Their wings were okay, though. Like, pizza sauce wings are, 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 are decent most of the time. I like sweet sauce sometimes, and other times I like it bitter. Nah, man. I like it uh, a wee bit salty, a wee bit uh, sour, and, uh, you know, just flavorful. I don't, I don't want it sweet. Savory's fine. I like savory. Like... I don't know. It's just not for me, man. Not for me at all. I mean, obviously people like it. Otherwise, that, that business would be out of business. But, like, <laughs> it's not for me, though. So, wait. Is it gonna, like, close as soon as we get off the pad? Yeah. Okay. So, we gotta, we gotta like, teleport through it then. That's fine. We can do that. Do a little bit of that. And... Uh huh. There is uh huh. Here. Is Junkbot messing with us? I don't know, but if the power source really is missing, we could grab the one in the other dimension. The one with an entire. That's a good idea. 
Yeah, that one. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine, guys. Sweet pizza, isn't there already a thing like that? It's it's that just Hawaiian pizza, sugar and spaghetti is weird too. Very weird. And yeah, I mean, Hawaiian pizzas, most of the ones that I've seen um, are just like regular red sauce pizzas, but with uh, pineapple, which I'm, again, not into. Maybe ham and uh, onion or something on it instead of instead of pepperoni. I'm not really that into that either. Like, I can eat that, but nah, not my favorite at all. Um, sugar, sugar and spaghetti is really weird. I mean, I, I know people that put sugar in literally everything, and I find it disgusting, man. Like, if you're making your own tomato sauce from scratch, I understand that sometimes adding a little bit of sugar can help cut, like, the acidity or bitterness or whatever. But, like, I, I make my own spaghetti sauce from scratch. Um, and I tried the sugar trick one time because, you know, so many people have told me that it's good. I've seen so many pe recipes that, that use it and it was just a little bitter. So I was like, you know what? I'll try putting a, it's probably like a freaking teaspoon in it. And man, it was disgusting. Like <laughs> I ate it because I made it. I wasn't going to waste it, but I was so disappointed in it. Like, okay. So we can't shoot him. That does nothing. Run where, though? Where are we running to? Stop shooting and run. I'm not shooting. I'm running. Oh, here. <laughs> yeah, I understand that, but I kind of need to get through the door, right? Oh, wait. Is he focused on me because of the fun guy, maybe? Stop shooting and run. Uh, open door, please. Blaze door. Thank you. <laughs> usually when you do sweet sauce, it's at home. You usually just add a pinch. Yeah, I, I, like I said, even a pinch was too much for me in tomato sauce. Um, I do like, uh, like teriyaki sauces though. You know, some sweet Asian sauces aren't bad. Mix up some like soy sauce, some garlic, ginger, and, uh, and sugar. And then put that on like wings or, or whatever. Like that's good. I like that. But to me, a, a tomato sauce should never be sweet, in my opinion. I, I just can't. I don't like it. It's just bad. <laughs> Gotta use the pinch method and follow your soul. Yeah, I think I'll just pass, man. My soul tells me never add sugar to it. That's what my soul tells me. I only did it because everybody else told me to. My soul said no. <laughs> so, in the future, I think I will follow my soul. <laughs> Disable lock two. Okay, where... Where art thou lock number two? I don't... I'm just smashing things now because I like it. Is it on? This is the door we came through, isn't it? Is this the door with Juicy? No, okay. This, this, looks, this looks good. This looks like somewhere we're supposed to be. You gotta go back to work? Yay, I'm sorry, Noodle. Just text you if I need or want anything else you'll buy later. Okay, will do. Uh, real quick before you go, if you haven't already gone, did you see my text that I can try to pick you up tonight, love? I hope you did. Uh, no biohazards here. Well, okay, you know what? Those do kind of look like biohazards. Yeah, you replied, okay. Well, I mean, I've been streaming, so I haven't been looking at my phone, but... Okay, as long as you, as long as you saw it. Love ya. Uh, try to enjoy work. I know it's probably not gonna happen, but try. <laughs> Maybe you would if the store fell down. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Take a look, sure. Take a look. What, what, what do you see? Let us watch. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so is this how is this how we met JC? Talking about juice. 
So ju juice, yeah. I mean, he did say juice is his best friend. Like, he did. He did tell us that. It'd probably be best to not try and murder him. You mean the window we just went through? Uh, is there another window somewhere? That one. That window. Oh, nope, that's that's underwater. Okay. <laughs> Can't go through that one. That one's a little bit uh a little bit much maybe. A little a little too thick. Thick with with 3 Cs maybe. This lock's controlled by a bolt crank. Oh, we can do that. Easy. Thank goodness we have a ratchet. <laughs> uh where is the bolt crank? There it is. Spin it. Oh, hi there. Hi, friend. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that hurt, friend. Uh, let me let me up there. Teleport me. Thank you. Come up here, friend. Yes, make your way all the way over here. Nice and slow-like. Beautiful, beautiful. And go. <laughs> and crank. I think this is all we gotta do is just just keep teleporting back and forth. Oh well, that that was actually pretty easy. We made it quick. Where uh, last door unlocked? Was it this one over here? Ow! Oh wait, did we just lock him in there? Well, I hope he's okay. I don't want to kill Junkbot's best friend, man. Where to now? This one, maybe? How do you get here so fast? There are men Dude can freaking there. teleport himself, apparently. Alright. If I were Blizon, where would I be? We would be wherever Blizon be. Got him. Oh. <laughs> I don't think the uh the game liked us pressing that one. Oh, okay. We're underwater now. That's okay. Hopefully we have a breathing mask on. It does. Good. What is? What is that? Oh, oh, we're on a we're on a magnet pad. Okay, I didn't realize that. Finesse trench 300 meters. Also, I just realized it's been an hour again. Uh and the pre-roll or there's about to be an auto ad turn on and the pre-rolls have been on for a while. So you know what? I think this is actually a pretty decent place to take a, a short break, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and switch the screen over to the break screen. We'll just be gone for like two, three minutes while the while the ad runs and everything, get the pre-rolls gone as well as stop there from being an ad in the middle of gameplay. And we'll be right back. I'm like happen to actually concentrate a little bit here. For the first level of the game, it is surprisingly difficult. Okay, we got a power up at least. Some lasers that slice people in half. Nice. But I took a hit because I'm terrible. What's a... Uh... Okay, pause, pauses, select, does nothing. It seems like... <laughs> So I'm guessing there's going to be a vehicle soon or something that I'm going to run into. Because, I mean, why would they give me a vehicle and just run through everybody? That's, yep. Uh, do I have to shoot the eye? I'm guessing I have to shoot the eye. That's annoying. Okay, so charge shot it is. Oh, you, you're that other dude, but... But... Beefy. Oh no. Okay, well he's a lot easier than that first boss. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that first boss. Shouldn't have said that though. I'm probably just gonna get destroyed now. I feel like the charge shot it takes longer to do damage than just like spamming. I don't know. Maybe it's worth it with this guy, though, because I can't really, like, hit him that easily. Yeah, your school did the same. And then, yeah, I see the little grenade icon up top there, but I'm not sure 
Like, I, I think I've... Oh, no, okay, there's a circle. Circle does grenades. If, see, if I had watched the uh, tutorial, I probably would have known that. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, can I jump up here? Oh, well, that was a bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, but it, when you respawn, you get all of your grenades back, too. Interesting. So I feel like, I don't know if this game has a speedrun community at all, but I feel like that... I don't think you can hear me, Noodle, but if you can, um, I would take uh, maybe Doritos and Salsa instead, then. Um, I'll, I'll text you after the stream's over, too, in case you can't hear me. But yeah, we're back, by the way, everybody. Hello, back. <laughs> back and playing some more game. Even joyful, so when you ask to become partners. Ah, fair, fair, yep. Me too, Kit. You're a good friend. Ah, Best of friends. Finish making your pasta? Hell yeah, dude. Y'all are making me hungry. I'm also making myself hungry, though. Like, it's not all y'all's fault, but, uh... <laughs> I'm getting hungry, though. I'm super excited for dinner now. I'm gonna have pasta on my own. So if I'm... If I'm... If I have the time, my plan is to thaw out my sausage that I've had in the freezer. Make a, uh, a sausage meat sauce for the spaghetti. And, uh, yeah. It should be delicious, hopefully. You know what? I kind of want the in the executor, I guess. It's not the enforcer anymore. Now it's the executor, man. It's too big and powerful to be the, the enforcer. It's not enforcing. It's executing. Like, you either do what you're supposed to be doing or get freaking shot, apparently. <laughs> like, this thing is dope. Execute them all. Exactly. I'm kind of surprised we're not just, like, swimming around. There were swimming sections in the, uh, older Ratchet and Clank games. But I guess, like, if we were swimming around, we wouldn't be able to shoot shit. Although, how do the guns work underwater? Like, that's a whole nother question, you know? Uh... Can we... Like, is there, like, a running jump or something? No, we can't do... We can't do the thing, the boots underwater. How do we... How do we get over there? Oh wait, it appeared for a second. There it is. Okay. I thought that was too too far to jump actually, but nope. We're good. Jump back maybe? Uh please, maybe? Uh, okay. There we go. Thank you. Use roasted garlic, garlic powder, and pepper. Put roasted garlic in Italian seasoning in the boiling water. That does sound excellent, man. Yeah, you gotta season your water. That's a very important tip anytime you're making any sort of pasta. Because that's the only way you're gonna get flavor in the actual pasta itself. Another thing that I really like to do and is, is popular among people is to, uh... Ow! Juicy! Uh, finish your pasta in the sauce itself, right? It's like, instead of boiling your pasta until it's cooked all the way through pull it out a couple minutes early and put it in your sauce with just a little bit of the water the pasta water let it finish in there so it can soak up some of the flavor from you know the tomato and uh the garlic and, and salt and all that stuff like cold snap we got any new upgrades to do nope Topiary drill hound ricochet. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. You've never heard of people doing that for pasta, really? That's crazy, man. Yeah, if you ever make like spaghetti, or I mean, you can do it with Alfredo too. But the thing you got to be careful of with Alfredo is that cheese sauces can separate. So it's not. It may not be the best idea for Alfredo, but for like tomato-based sauces, oh yeah, dude. That is that is exactly what you want. Hope you didn't actually speak out what you wanted because you're muted, so just mess with me on your next break. Yeah, Doritos and salsa is what I said. Thank you, Nate. But uh, I figured she couldn't hear me when I said it. 
Hi, mister. I won't be surprised again. Are you surprised to see me? <laughs> Mr. Laser Guy is not very nice. Uh, no, I definitely meant it, actually. It wasn't accidental at all. Do -do -do. Uh, Glove of Doom. Let's get some little robot friends to help us out. Robots and floating sentient fungus are all you need. <laughs> To ruin everything in your path like I want a glove of doom in real life man to be able to carry around those little robots have them come out and help me at any time now granted their their version of helping is basically just murdering whatever's in their path so you know maybe not the best to have IRL but they're cute though in the meantime <laughs> You do that with most of your pasta. That and save a little bit of the boil water for the extra starch. Yeah, I usually... I don't like doing dishes. So I usually do it the one pot method. Um, where you actually... Instead of bringing your pasta up to boil... Or I'm sorry. Instead of bringing your water up to boil and then adding your pasta. You add the pasta in a small amount of water while it's still cold. And then you bring up the pasta to temperature with the water. It leads to less sticking... Um, of the pasta. It, uh, takes less time to cook as a whole. You have less, uh, dishes to cook if you do everything in one pot, which is what I usually end up doing. And you have all of that extra starch from the entire dish, right? Not just, like, one little cup of starch, but you have an entire pound or however much pasta you're making worth of starch to help, uh, thicken it up, give it a nice glossy finish. So, that's how I normally do it personally. But I know a lot of people don't like doing doing one pot style stuff, which is fair. Mr. Noodle thinks it's too complicated, but We should free him. Look at what they put him through. No wonder he is so angry. Why is Why are they using juice as a power source? That's pretty freaking ridiculous. Like <laughs> Take a lozenge real quick. If we survive that long. Maybe, maybe Kilt can do it, man. KT. One pot pasta? Yeah, man. I really like, I think it's delicious. Um, it's not that much different tasting from normal pasta. It is a little bit thicker, generally speaking. Um, and the texture does end up being a tiny bit different whenever you do the whole thing together. But, like, it, it's, it's really good. It's less dishes. Um... So I like how it thickens the sauce and everything. It's, uh, yeah. It's good stuff. Leave Juice alone. Juice is friend of Junkbot and I. Usually cook from cold to hot. Like that, save a little water strain and then mix everything in the same pot. Yeah, see, I do the same thing, but just uh, use less water. So that whenever you're done cooking the pasta, there's no water left to to dump out, is essentially what I do. I mean, there's usually a tiny bit of water left, but that's not a bad thing. Because then you just use that tiny bit of water that's left to help thicken up your, your, your sauce. So, like, not even mad about that, you know? Level up! The Glove of Doom! Ah, uh, lasers everywhere! <laughs> Okay. Got the Doritos, good lord. People are psychopaths. I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be such a uh, pain in the ass to get some, some chips. <laughs> uh, we could use some fungi. Fungi can help out here. There are so many particles on the screen right now. Like, between, between the fungi, the rupees, all of the freaking laser beams everywhere... Everything blowing up. All of our, you know, our own weapons. Leaving particles and giant streams of shit everywhere. This is insane. Like, I have no idea what's going on, even. <laughs> Where is... Where's the last guy at? Oh, he's right in front of me. Holy crap. Hi. Uh, I'm trying not to shoot you, JC. I'm sorry if I am. 
but you're kind of big and you walk right in front of me. Does he want us to what? Okay, yep, we'll follow him. Never thought of letting it boil like that. You usually use the least amount of water you could. Might have to try doing it like that. Yeah, man. That's It uses less water. You get a thicker starch concentrate at the end. Like, it's uh, it's pretty nice. It does take... It does take some trial and error to figure out exactly how much water you need for however much pasta you like, but... Hope I like the new salsa. You don't have the other kind anymore. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I'll try it and see if I like it. Let's go, boy. Still with us, Mr. Juice. Juice. Come on. The Ruby on Forge is upstairs. Could we use like one of the Blizzons to power the Come Forge on, or like It is me. Good old JB. <laughs> so why is this JC so much uh angrier than the other JC? Oh, are they going to kiss? They look like they're going to be good friends. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> oh, my wrist is starting to hurt. Probably from all that shoveling and shit earlier today. Oh, the two of them are doing it together. That's nice. They're working together, so neither one of them are being, being you know, hurt or whatever. It would have been funny if this universe did it backwards. <laughs> so you didn't want to press the skull button. Wish you would have had some shallots. Shallots are delicious. Like a mix of garlic and onion together. Delish, man. Excellent for pasta, too. That would have been horrendous. <laughs> oh. Hey, Dimensionator achieved or, or gotten. Whatever. <laughs> Is loose. Is like Objective return to, to the surface. To okay. Oh, we can probably do that. No. Do I want to go back right away though? Thanks. And we'll do. Uh, junkie. Junkie? <laughs> I mean, okay. He's trying to, to use some pet names, you know, some some friend names there. That's that's cute. Ratchets, ratchets. He's, uh, he's evolving, if you will. He's growing. Plus, they have just a little sweetness to them. Use them for steak all the time. Yeah, that would be good, too. I mean, onions in general, if you don't know anybody out there, onions are actually extremely sweet. You just can't tell because of all of the, you know, strong flavor <laughs> that they got. But if you cook them nice, low and slow, it'll take out all of the, uh, the astringency that they have. And leave behind the sugars, and then they caramelize, and oh my lord, they are a one man, amazing. Rivet, we built the dimensionator. You love onions, Ruth? Same man, same. Delicious. Uh, I mean, you just. How do you not know how to meet someone? <laughs> you you see them, you say hello, you met. Like, there you go. That's all there is to it, man. You got it. I don't know. Just be friendly. Feel like it would have topped off the dish wonderfully. Oh, we have mushrooms, too. I'll have to fry up some mushrooms with my uh, with my sausage. I'm sure Noodle will want some, so I'll probably have to fry some, some sausage off to the side. I don't have onions or shallots right now, and that's actually kind of depressing now that I think about it. Uh, no, we're just gonna continue the story, I think. You mean that's one way to meet someone? Yeah. <laughs> Zerkies! Guess it's time to fix the dimensions. Let's go! But wait, once we fix the dimensions, will we be able to come back to this one? What are we gonna do about Rivet, man? Our new bestest friend. Besides Clank, of course. Clank will always be best friend. Are sure you, you weren't practicing? Sounded like you were practicing. What? Yeah. A little. 
<laughs> he is friendly, I promise. And once we build the dimensionator, he will help us. I don't know if I like the laugh areas. that Clank just did there a moment ago. Right. That was a uh, that was a bit weird of a, a, a laugh there. Okay, well, I didn't <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. It's like a condescending dad laugh. Yeah, right What are you doing? Nothing. Just Did we do this one already? I feel like we might have done this one already. I hope it would have told us if we did though There it is again. It's so freaking weird man. Oh yeah, I guess we did do this one already. Was there a way to tell that I just missed, or does the game not tell you? I don't know. I assume since it was closed, we just missed it and didn't do it, but... Oh well. You've had a deer sausage spaghetti? That stuff was awesome. You do sausage, beef, meatballs when you have the chance. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of that in general. Because sausage has so much more flavor than, than hamburger on its own. But Mr. Noodle's not a sausage fan, so I can't do it all the time. But, like, it's really good for tacos. It's really good for meatballs. It's good in spaghetti. It's good for just hamburgers. Like, if you're just making, you know, cheeseburgers or something like that. Like, just mix a little bit of sausage in with the hamburger, hamburger before you make the patties. It's so good. It's delicious. Did it just repeat the audio? Yeah, because we died. It repeated the audio. <laughs> so it shoots a rocket. And then it shoots another rocket. It shoots another rocket. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. So. It's a it's a, uh, a rocket launcher that can shoot fast. Got it. I mean, I'm into it, man. We'll get it eventually. Any upgrades? Glove of Doom's got one. We'll definitely unlock it. I didn't even check to see what it does. But I don't care. We're getting it. You unlocked it, sugar. An additional agent comes with each Doom egg. Very cool. So that's nice. That's just more damage output then. Uh, we'll probably end up upgrading that one all the way at some point, but... Lightning Rod, I mean... I don't know. We only really use the Lightning Rod whenever we're, like, out of other stuff, you know? So I'm gonna keep saving my points. You need some deer meat? I haven't had deer meat in a long time, man. Since I was a uh, teenager. Because I don't go hunting anymore, you know? I haven't been hunting in a long time. And, uh... I don't know if my, like, ex-step family, if any of them still go hunting or not. I'm not sure, but if they do, they haven't offered me any deer meat, at least. <laughs> there was a one guy I know that said if I need deer meat to let him know, and he would he would give me some because uh, he had more than enough, you know, for himself. So I might be able to get a hold of some this year or next year, which would be nice, but yeah. Same, but you love this stuff. So do I. I mean, I just like meat. You know, deer meat with its its slight gaminess or or whatever is good, but like I don't have a strong preference one way or the other between like deer and uh and beef unless it's like a steak, What's... like a good beef steak I think is better than a good deer steak. Hey. But deer steaks are wonderful hey. as well though. Yes. Um. Hi. Um. I have clank. Huh. Huh? I've never tried elk. We don't really have elk around here, so... <laughs> I've had a uh, deer, bear, pretty much any small game you can imagine. Uh, all kinds of birds. Uh, what's... A crocodile or alligator, I forget which one it was, but yeah. <laughs> and the first awkward combo. Kit, I have been looking forward to meeting you. Um, me too. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't all that awkward. Okay, that, that part was a little more awkward, but... Big fan of meat in general. Also, you got it. Told it's real good. Sierra's step pap went hunting for it. That's cool, man. That's where uh, we've gotten bear meat from. It's from hunting trips out. East, or west, I mean. Hey, we got Clank back. She got Kit now, and guess what? <laughs> Bad guy galore. Oh no! Thank <laughs> you. 
Which nefarious are you? That's the question. Okay, so that's our nefarious. How many times you beat this guy? Clearly not enough. Can I try? Be my guest. <laughs> nefarious, you useless dumbass, man. Do you really think that was gonna work, like, at all? Did we get our weapons back at least? We did, good. Start with a couple fungals. We'll get a, uh, a glove of doom down just for shits and gigs. And then execute him. <laughs> Why don't you come down here, Nefarious? Say hello to my glove of doom. Uh, I guess I can't damage him when he's doing that. Oh, he's using the Dimensionator. That's not nice, man. That's like cheating. Uh. Oh, <laughs> hi there, giant dude. Uh, L1? <laughs> this is pretty cool. Wait, what dimension are we in now? Is this... Is this another dimension's... Uh, like thing that we were just in, the the Colosseum or whatever you want to call it. Is this the same thing from another dimension? I am confused. Ow! I didn't know we were using swords. I want to use a sword. Do we have a uh, like a health pack around here or something? Why are we stuck? Anything? No, just just explosives. Okay, that's fine. Ah, bruh, we're gonna die. <laughs> what is this combo you're reading? Y'all talking about gross meats? Look, just because you're gross doesn't mean the meat's gross. Okay. All right, he came back to life. That's lame. Uh, maybe. Well, we'll get the glove of doom down. We need to remember that we can dodge. Well, not roll, but. Dodge, nonetheless. That. Yep, that went well. <laughs> Let's get the uh, the executor. Executor seems like a, a good option here. There we go. And then turn and blast him in the face. Oh, he's got cold attack. Or that's I guess that's probably not a cold attack. It looks like it. But it's probably whatever those like boosters are on his feet, actually. I imagine it's probably quite hot. We're going to die again, though. All that shit talking I did on Nefarious all these times. And, uh... <laughs> He's kind of kicking our ass, man. Uh, and then Glove of Doom. And then... Wait. He's shooting at us? He didn't do that before. Try the lightning rod, I guess, while he's so far away. This one seems to be working well. Okay, there we go. Now, Executor. When he's getting close. There we go, man. You or Ratchet or Clank? Kit! That is Kit. And you will show them respect. We need more... more fungus. More fungus, more doom. Mr. Noodle, have you even tried any, like, game of any sort? Like bear or, or deer or anything like that? I know, I think you've told me before you're not a fan of uh, Deer Jerky, which I think is ridiculous. Because Deer Jerky is fantastic. Oh, hi. Uh, why are we suddenly fighting Grunther? Not cool. I don't know if I consented to, to fighting Grunther. I'd rather just kill you, Mr. Nefarious. <laughs> uh, you're not a threat, though. You're just a child with a god complex. Ow. Are you, though? Are you really? Where are we going? Oh, he's shooting at us. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Okay, time to fight him again, I guess. Pfft, own. <laughs> Pfft. 
you can't do shit, nefarious. You useless, mad doctor dude. Keep shooting. That's fine. Stay in one spot for me, maybe, so I can so I can hit you more easily. Uh, missiles aren't nice. Okay. More fungus. We are running out of ammo quickly for like everything, though. Right, we got more fungal ammo. That's nice. What's that one? That was blaster pistol ammo. That's actually really good. That's not nice. No supernovas. <laughs> Maybe because you are freaking bad at your job, Mr. Nefarious. Oh, oh, where'd he go? Where art thou, Nefario? We're out of fungal ammo. Okay, uh, Executor should be good for these little guys. Where, where is he? Am I blind? There he is, holy shit. Get wrecked, Nefarious. Ah, oh, we're out of ammo! Son of a bitch. Uh, bomb him! <laughs> Dead? Uh, again, question mark. Dead? There we go. GG. <laughs> yes, cheer for me. I am thou savior. I killed the emperor. <laughs> Raj and Clank just fall into the scene. Oh, I'm guessing that's the real Nefarious. A little, uh, a little scarier looking, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. <laughs> wow! What a battle! Also way more dramatic. No kidding. Are we done having fun? Come on! Give it up for Rivet! And her first victory. I, I mean, it wasn't my first. I fought here before. Sooner, however, I am thrilled to announce that I finished neutralizing my enemies, <laughs> with the exception of Captain Quantum. And is that like our world's anyway, Captain Quark, Captain when Quantum? I heard that the Rebel Lombax was battling me. I had to come here. The universe celebrate your defeat. Celebrating, you mean that? That's <laughs> that, that was nice of you. Oh, he's magic too, apparently, and doing a terrible job at it. Ah, my um, strange fan wants to assist. <laughs> Tantalizing. Why don't we make this interesting? A home game, perhaps. <laughs> oh. I have to get there first. We're coming with you, Ratchet. We must find Quantum. He is the last rebel on that list. Go to Ardolis and find Pierre. He'll take you to him. Wait. Finally get together and we're instantly split up. We should gather as many resources as we can. You're right. Maybe a good idea to hit the arena before we go. Should we? Should we hit the arena before we go? I can go smack it with my with my hammer real quick. Okay, we'll give it a good smack. Oh wait, we can't. That's right. We're, we can't fight in the bar. I forgot. Uh, we'll do. We're not gonna stay here all day, but we'll do one. Why not? Oh, they just give they just give money and whatnot. Ah, never mind. I'm not gonna really worry about that then. Right now. That's a seems like a pretty decent way to get. Uh, money though. Defeat 25 Friesen Emoboids? What is that? What is that 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 reward there, though? We're, I've changed my mind. We're going to do one because <laughs> I'm a little curious what this reward is. Is it an upgrade for our... 
What is... Can we only use the cold snap? Oh. Icicles destroyed. So wait, we have to we have to freeze them and kill them. Well, this seems extremely easy, actually. I mean, I'm sure it's got to end up being harder than than what I'm thinking, but like we just got to freeze them and then hit them, like. Multiply. Uh, oh, cold snap out of ammo. Okay, hopefully the ammo regens though, because if it doesn't, then that could be a problem. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ammo regens. No problemo. Ow. Does that count? That counted. So even when we defeat the big ones and they they multiply, it seems like it still counts as defeating an icicle. Bro, we're like already done with it. Look at that. That was easy. What'd we get? Got the box breaker X and then square to destroy crates in a larger radius. Oh, I mean, okay. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's something. I'm not upset about it, but I was hoping for something a little more epic than, than just being able to, to destroy boxes <laughs> in a larger area. Again, though, it seems like a really good way to get more money if we, uh, if we wanted to buy all the other weapons soon or whatever. I feel like we're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game, too, though. Bombardier? What is this one? A lot of bomb-based glove weapons in this game, I'm noticing. Wait, what? Oh, it's like a freaking... It's a uh, a drone. A laser missile drone. <laughs> That's actually pretty neat, then. That's pretty cool. Zircon Jr. sounds a bit like Gur and Zim combined. You're not wrong. Although, you know, I've never actually watched uh, Invader Zim. I don't think I've ever seen one full episode of it. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we must get the dimensionator away from him. Uh, can we save it? We saved it. I'm very surprised. I could have swore we were dead there, man. Good job, us. I hope at some point we can like come back to these worlds as the other character. Not that it really matters because they have the same exact abilities and whatnot. But uh But it'd still be cool to explore these areas with Ratchet or 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 uh, Rivet. You know? Okay, so... We, Sargasso is where we need to go fight the Emperor. Find the missing... Miss, missing? Missing chef. This is where... Captain Quantum. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that, and then we'll go to Sargasso. Because I'm I'm assuming Sargasso, Gasso, whatever, is like the, the main quote-unquote mission, right? And this is like the the side deal. Although, we'll, maybe we'd have to do both to complete the game. I don't know to finish the game. Is it just me? Only saw it once while your uncle brought his box sent to watch while he was visiting well, years ago. We find Pierre, the sooner we can get to fixing all of this. I've so seen like uh, YouTube videos about it, and I know people growing up that really liked it, but yeah, I never really watched it though. Uh, sorry, I had to mute for a moment. There we go. I think it's. I think the music's done. <laughs> Never blow up your own ship. I mean, uh, one of your pirate friends kind of already did that. So. <laughs> Rescue Pierre Le Fair. Mm, do we have to though? Can we just let Quantum, Captain Quantum die? Is that a is that an option instead? Like, I'd rather not save Pierre. Uh, Ratchet, I think you're barking up the wrong tree here. 
I don't think these guys are going to uh, be friendly and want to talk. <laughs> I love the Glove of Doom, man. Honestly, one of my favorite weapons throughout the entire Ratchet series, Ratchet and Clank series, man. It's great. All the little dudes just coming out and eating, eating everything, and then blowing up. I think we can take a shortcut through those caves to get to him. Hurry, Ratchet. I guess that's probably why they're trying to kill Pierre, is because he blew up his own ship. <laughs> Sorry about that, Pierre. You kind of deserved it, though, though. We should be able to reach Pierre through those caves. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> the way he looked all uh, cindered and burnt, I just assumed he was dead already. Look at that. Oh, okay, so that's a pretty big radius of destroying uh, boxes, I will say. It also seems like it's a decent way to deal with these little tiny, uh, just annoyance enemies, you know? The little guys that don't really do anything. And we can blow them up at a distance. The, the TNT ones, that's nice. I thought the Dimensionator could only bring me trouble. Without it, we would have never met Rivet or Kit. Ah. I think that means something. It means you're a dumbass, Ratchet. <laughs> oh, level up. Plus 10. Oh, we leveled up. I thought it was one of the weapons. Okay. Got another 10 health. Very cool. Happy to collect it. Plus six to the executor ammo. Hi, guys. Would you like to be friends with my glove of doom? I'm sure you will love them. They are wonderful little guys that just like to say hello. <laughs> Aw, look at them play. Aren't they cute? Just the nicest little guys. The best little boys, you know? They're the greatest. Hi, Krabby. Ooh. Sorry about that. Random radio. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be a secret. Oh. <laughs> uh, eat missiles, I guess. And boom. GG, boyo. Can we make that jump? Uh, yes, barely. Oh, we can go down there, actually, huh? Hi! Raritanium. Um, I'm a little lost. Okay, wait. So that's, that's the way we went. This is the direction we didn't go. Okay, so we actually went the right way the first time. I was trying to go the wrong way, but... Apparently, I'm bad at doing things wrong. Besides English, obviously. <laughs> Pretty good at doing English wrong, as Rue loves to, to let me know. I shall give ye this nice succulent bowl. Classic scene there. not an entirely fair trade. What if I give you this bowl? Ah, uh, head scratches? That's worth it. You should do it, dog. This bone, head scratches, and I will throw in me prized hat. I mean, the hat's whatever. But head scratches? Head scratches are where it's at. That's a dumb dog, man. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Didn't realize y'all were uh, all over the place here. What did we just level up? Oh, it's now the Shatter Blast. Very cool. Okay. Love of Doom. Got the little dogs of my own here, man. I don't even have to do anything at this point. I can just run around, enjoy the sights. All the little dudes do the, the work for me here. Uh, why did I shoot my own thing? <laughs> I don't know if it actually uh, did anything, but... 
Uh, probably because some dumbass Nefarious keeps using the uh, Dimensionator for, for general travel. I'm sure it's not good for the universe, at least, you know? For the integrity of the dimensions. How do I get back up top? There was a warp point somewhere, right? Yes, there it is. Hello! Um, okay, look, I'm really, I'm trying to get some dudes to come up here. I kept throwing them down bottom by mistake. Oh, big dimension rift. <laughs> just look at all the robot friends. They're just like teleporting through the ground. I think they want to blow up, guys. <laughs> Pop. Popping like popcorn. Those guys are the best. Alright, Shatter Blast. Let's get rid of some shields here. Sometimes I just get lost. Like, I can't think of anything to say or do. Just staring at all the freaking particles. Like... Uh, what's what's through here? Nothing? Just an empty room? Weird. Uh, maybe we'll do something there later. Can we destroy some barrels? We can't. That's upsetting. Treasure chest? Ah, oh, it's empty. Should have had a, uh, a golden nut in it or something. Bolt, <laughs> nut, whatever. Close enough. Okay. <laughs> Bruh, that wasn't very nice. I was just trying to have some fun skating around. You didn't have to block me like that. Okay, that just like disintegrated underneath my feet. Oh. Huh. Okay. I didn't even have to do anything. Tentacle dude took care of it for me. <laughs> hey, Pierre. I kind of hate your guts, but I have to save you, so... Oh, uh, is Bubbles the dude that just tore down that ship? Yep. Hi, Bubbles. <laughs> Is it gonna get smacked? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Alright, so are we trying to kill the arm or the dudes? Or is it like both? <laughs> Yeah, be thankful, Pierre. Jeez, man. I could just leave your ass if you'd rather. Uh, it's not that easy. I can't spin this, I'm assuming, until everybody else is dead, so... Oh, big barrel of boom? Didn't do anything. Lame. Pierre, you're a coward. No joke, man. Pierre's a bit of a joke, though. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Bunch of little dudes. Hi, bunch of little dudes. Do you like uh, little robot friends? How about mushrooms? Do you like mushrooms? I think uh, I think a little bit of mushroomage would be good for y'all. I always play with headphones, so I sometimes forget that my controller is making noises. <laughs> I took off one side of my headphones here for just a moment because I uh, thought I had heard something and, and yeah, like, <laughs> I just started hearing a weird noise coming from my hands and I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh yeah, that's right. The controller makes noises too. Hi guys, I have things for you. Uh, not you, Glove of and then last pistol um so what's the point of this just to get from side to side more quickly i guess like i don't know doesn't seem that useful what if i just ring the bell instead <laughs> no okay 
enemies, but you did save my life, and I am Pierre Lefer, gentlemen next up in air. If you want an audience with Captain Quantum, you must complete the pirate trials. Why? A tradition as old as grog. What is grog? Is that, you mean like alcohol grog? Go to Skull Mountain. Where is that? Jump boost time. Jump boost time. Let's go. Flash. Fishy. Thought it said flashy. <laughs> you shouldn't trust him, honestly. Which is honestly pretty sad that he's our best shot. Pretty upsetting, all uh, truth be told, you know? So what, are we... Are we captaining the boat? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Let's go, boy. Oh, is this Ratchet's first time actually piloting one of these? I guess so. It was always, uh, what's her name before? Oh, wait. Did I not jump off? I could have swore I did. Well, okay, whatever. That's the plan. Are we like running from something? No. Meh. I mean, isn't that basically what you do anytime you ride an animal? Like, <laughs> just hang on for dear life and hope for the best? Nah, I'm sure he's not following us. Coincidence, I'm sure. Yeah, you trusted Pierre. That's what's not right about all this. Really? It's like a carnival ride or something. Have the pirates in this game just been freaking carnies the entire time? It would actually kind of explain a lot. If they were. Like. The pirate trials are a, a theme, theme park. park. Hell yeah. Uh. What are we doing? What the fuck? <laughs> we can't change our weapon either. We're stuck with whatever gun it's got us given us here. Oh my lord, it's freaking Simon Says. So, you... So, red, whatever you are. <laughs> Me hearties sing shanties. You heard him. Time for you to sing. We got pink. Whatever color you are. Whatever color you are. Green. Pink, orange, red, green. Pink, orange, red, green. Pink. Orange. Red. Green. Okay, that line is okay. <laughs> uh. Green. Just, oh. Blue. Orange. Red. Pink. Okay. Green. Green, blue, orange, red. Green. Wait, what? No! Oh. <laughs> Oh, so the green didn't count. Okay. Blue, orange, red, pink, green. Blue, orange, red, pink, green. Beautiful. We did it! Yay! Confetti everywhere! Who comes in and fixes this every time people screw it up and they blow up the freaking platform that we're on? Like... A little bit. I can be a pirate if I want to be a pirate.
of what? Destroy Moon 34B? It's gonna be something stupid. It's gonna be something ridiculous. Like a little tiny fluffy animal or something. Snoo Jax? <laughs> what the hell? Snoo Snoo. It's just a, grunt or was a dead one door. at that. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Looks like that grunt or feeder is out of order. Oh? Think you Triangle? Let's get that gold bolt glitch? glitch, let's go! Who? And a dead one, the poor thing. Oh no. Alright, glitch, you got this, man. Don't fuck it up. Why are we fixing this computer exactly? Isn't this like. I assume this was the, uh. the Grunthor feeder, but. I'm not actually sure what this is for. Can we go through here? We can. Very cool. And then down. Down it is. Uh, that pad did something. Electro gun upgrade activate. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what it does. Holy crap. That is one hell of an upgrade, man. We got like a Gatling gun over here now. Sick. Y'all don't stand a chance no more. You might have got me last time, but last time was the last time. Yes, you are. Believe in yourself, little dude. You got this. Believe in yourself. You are the best glitch ever. Then tell him otherwise, man. Let him know that he's freaking wrong. Uh, power thingy. Upside down. Okay. Getting motion sick. <laughs> it's the one problem with stuff like this. <laughs> All this rotating makes me just a wee bit nauseous. <laughs> Although, the game I'll be talking about on the podcast tonight is, uh, Spider-Man. And let me tell you, this isn't even close to as bad as Spider-Man is. The first Spider-Man on PS2 was kind of rough. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, two left. That unlocked that one. And you unlock this one. Too easy, man. Give me, give me back my my shooting McShooty missiles. Why does the the master glitch have like a southern accent? <laughs> Hell yeah, you are, Glitch. You tell him, man. I, I still don't know what the point of fixing that was, but... Think you can help us get that gold bolt, Glitch? Oh, there's a gold bolt in here, too? Okay, I didn't... What are we... What happened here? I didn't expect to do another oh, Glitch level. Yeah. Oh, it's the master virus. Hi. <laughs> I appreciate warm welcomes, but uh, you don't sound too friendly. For some reason, I, I think you're a fake friend. Kind of sounds like Zircon a little bit. Uh, where are all the power thingies? There's one. Who did that unlock, though? You. 
And your power conduit is over here. Rotate around a little bit. Where are the... Oh, wait. That wasn't your power thing. This one's your power thing. There we go. Deaded. Next. That's health, right? What is that? I thought that was health or something. There it is, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't break that there for a moment. Oh, hi. You're dead now. Oh, are they gonna like try to take me over or something? Yeah. We created the virus. Where power conduit is... Where? Uh, I'm blind. Where art thou, power conduit? Any of them, please. Okay, y'all can't get me up here, right? Holy shit, we are, like, out of health. I didn't realize how... How bad we were doing for health. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Did we did we maybe get a checkpoint? Are there checkpoints? I don't know. Yeah, there are. Awesome. Good, good. Okay. I mean, I think going down the tube was the right move. But, uh... I, like, as soon as we got down here, I was just completely blinded. There we go. Okay, let's collect the health up here before we die. That wasn't very much health. Okay, there's a power conduit under my feet. Here's one. There we go. Yeah, I know. Got to use the other one. Okay, so that, that gave us a moment to breathe. That helps. Now, where and how do we get to the next one? That's the tube. So I'm guessing we have to go up on the ceiling, maybe? Maybe? We're kind of stuck. Here we go. We're making progress. That power conduit runs over here. Here's one. Did you have two? Oh, wait. Can we not do this one until the other one? Okay, yeah. Green and then red. That would make sense. You're down. Oh, there's got to be some way to get behind it. <laughs> no idea how, but... Man, we are moving slow, aren't we? Oh, okay. I didn't mean to use the, the thing. Hold on. Stop shooting me for a second. I want to get health. Thank you. Uh, you're dead. What do you get for shooting at me? Okay, looks like this is going to be another deal where we have another big battle after we think we're done. Just going off of how many of them are on the map. Versus how many of them it's telling us to, to, to kill. It's like some Metroid shit. Good. Brain jar, dude. Uh, no, we're about to die. <laughs> That's what's about to actually happen here, bud. Good old glitch. Sorry to tell you, this isn't going too well for us. We need some health, glitch. Oh, God, there's just so many of them, and they never stop coming. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we just got enough for our pulse charge, too. Like, right there at the end, man. Oh, shit, we got... And our uh, ad's about to run. We got five minutes. We got this. We got this. Five minutes to complete this. Okay. There's one. Okay, that one opened. Which one? This one. Okay, that's one down. Oh, man, we already lost so much freaking health, though. They just get around you so easily. We're dead. Holy shit, dude. These things are rough. There's so many of them in such a little area. Ow, ow, ow is right. Holy crap. All right. 
So we know there's one right here. Just rush straight to that. And there's a health thing there, too. I have to try to remember that there's a health thing right there. Um. Oh, it saves every time we destroy one, though. So, that's weird. I'm surprised it's, like, helping us like that, you know? Charge blast! Uh, the farther we go with this, the more it'll hurt when I murder you. I have the power of plot armor. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. There's so many of them. How do we... Okay, so that one's already dead. I have the power of anime. Of god and anime on my side. Where is the last freaking thing? Oh, it's on top there. On the roof. Oh, buddy. I'll take that tiny bit of health, please, and thank you. Alright, so now, big boy. How do we take down big boy shield? Where is... Where is yours at? Your your power conduit or whatever the hell. Well, yeah, no shit. How do we take it down? Trying to clear up a little bit of space before we go down there. So hopefully we don't just insta-die. Uh, what's this, like, colored light on the ground? Is that a button? No. Alright, so you... Oh, right here. There we go. We got this, man. 24 health. That's all we need. Just keep shooting. 30% health, 10 health left on us. We got this. No, 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 no. Get up the wall, get up the wall. Get up the wall. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> and with two minutes to spare, man. Good job, Glitch. Glitch, uh, finds a way. <laughs> that was cool. Good job, Glitch. I'm proud of you. We're gonna check what this collectible is real quick, and then we are going to take our short break before we try to finish up this world tonight, man. What did we get? We got photo mode pack two, so I don't really care about that. But hey, you know, more stuff is more stuff. Never gonna be upset about that. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna take a, uh, just like a two minute break while I stretch and get rid of the uh, the auto ad. I don't want ads playing in the middle of gameplay for anybody that's trying to watch as well as getting rid of pre-rolls is always nice. So we will be right back. You missed the end of the master virus. Nana had me get her some. Aw, you didn't really miss a whole lot other than Glitch got really happy that they found a way. It was kind of cute. <laughs> but all right, be right back, guys. To intentionally take damage to regain grenades and things. He looks angry all of a sudden. Okay, he's flying. Oh, do I have to like shoot up? He crashed on me. Got it. Oh, wait. Did, oh, okay, no. It just knocked me over. I thought just being on the ground damaged me there. Nah, it just, uh, just stuns me for a sec. Oh, okay, well, somebody hit me, though. It's alright. This is just my last life. That's all. It's fine. Just, just pull the hell. Just spam. Just spam and he'll die, right? I think we, I think we did it. Floor is lava. No. Can I pick up the eyeball? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. So at the end of the first level, I think we did it. I'm kind of surprised to be honest. I was fully expecting the game over. Harder than I expected. I Some of the controls are a little... 
if he like I said the the jump is very floaty and uh, the dodge roll I feel like it needs a couple iframes associated with it like whenever you're first getting up and whatnot but maybe as I get more used to it it won't be as uh, much of an issue for me all right guys I am back felt good to stand up for a minute get stretched out we still got like a half hour or so, so I'm going to try to finish up this world. I'm really hoping that we can uh, get at least this one done. And if we have any extra time, we'll probably spend it just, uh, I don't know, maybe trying to collect some some junk or something like that. But I don't know how much longer these, pa these, these pirate trials are going to be. I don't imagine they're going to be longer than a half hour, 45 minutes, though. Yeah, I mean, I kind of survived it. He was kind of already dead. Um, your feeder was broken, apparently. Uh. <laughs> you love how eventually you just take up the chat room, Rue? Yeah, I mean, Nate's still around somewhere, I imagine. But uh, probably eating dinner with his family since, you know, said that he was he was doing that. And Noodles at work, that, that lame thing that she has to do sometimes. <laughs> Uh, would y'all like some fun guy? You look like you would like some fun guy. Boo work, yeah. Or dashing because he needs money to pay for food. This is true too, yes, yes. Are we just, uh, what are we doing? Wait, are we actually supposed to be destroying the pirates? Or like, or are we just surviving? I think we're just doing a survival section, right? Yeah, I imagine we're just doing a survival section. That's what it looks like to me, at least. Can we shoot that far? We can't, but we can just swing over. That works. You're a funny-looking thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. We're a little hurt, but it's okay. There's health right here, Ratchet. No need to worry, bud. You will be fine. Get a little bit of executor action in here. Just blast these guys right off the ship. I don't imagine the robots do too well with water. Crab Cakes McGee? Ah, oh, it's just a robot. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be the big freaking thing again. The, the Kraken or, or Octopus or whatever the hell it was. Also, you are doing a surprising amount of damage to me, Mr. Crab Cakes. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. I need to remember that we have a dodge button. You've been listening and playing Fairy Tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Fairy Tail. You're you got to be really close now because you were doing endgame content before, right? So I'm guessing you're just uh, working on getting the rest of the unlockable characters or whatever. Work sucks ass, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody here is going to argue with you on that point, love. <laughs> Work definitely does suck ass. Unless you're into to sucking ass, you know? Some people do that these days for some reason. If you're into it, then it's the opposite. It's not sucking ass, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I would agree, though, that it most definitely sucks ass. We need more help from fungus. We're out of we're out of fungus. Robots, help me! Uh, we're out of we're out of robots too. We're out of everything. Oh shit, we're dead! I didn't realize we were that low on health. Ah, oh, and it's gonna start us over the whole trial. You're at the true end game now. You just unlo unlocked an S class quest. There's a lot of end game content. I mean, that's cool though. That there's a lot. You know, that helps. It's nice for whenever you really like a game. You can just keep playing. Uh, I feel like we should save our fungus and shit for the for the end guy. Just kill these guys with the executor and whatnot. Hi! Hi, robot friends! What kind of danger? Just more pirates? 
I mean, we already know. We kind of did this just a moment ago. <laughs> Y'all dead. Too easy. Not exactly uh, putting up much of a fight, these pirates. They all dead? I think that was the last of them. Now, where was that health pack? Wasn't there a health pack? That we broke somewhere? Whatever. Uh, you know what? More, more fungus. Two fungus, two, two gloves of doom. And try not to take too much damage. And executor! Holy crap, man. Attempt to avoid injury going forward. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the tip there, bud. Holy shit, we're gonna die again. Plus six to executor ammo, that's nice. But is there a health pack around here somewhere, maybe? Because that's what I really need. Uh, no! Son of a... Holy crap, dude. This dude is so much harder than the other ones, I feel like. I feel like I, I gotta just be missing something, though. Like, rude. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to watch this whole section again. That's what actually annoys me about it. Alright, come on. Get it out of the way. Let's go. Yep, okay. Put the guys on the ship so I can shoot them. Yep. They're dead. Next. And I guess I'll try not to break the, the health chest until we actually need the health. Because it seems like uh, breaking it didn't, didn't... Like it just got lost or something. Another one down. Next. And y'all are dead, right? Yep. Next. And done. Alright. Let's go, main dude. Oh, there's a health pack on the main island, too. I'll have to remember that. Although I feel like that's going to end up breaking... From, uh... <laughs> Ow! From all the explosions. Okay, probably shouldn't throw down too many fungus. Oh, dude, he's so close to being dead already. He's, he's done, done zone. Can we just get a couple executor shots on him? Real quick. Come on, he's so close. 2%. Oh, we're out of ammo. Holy shit, okay. Shatter Blast, done. <laughs> we got him that time. That wasn't that bad. I don't know why we struggled so much the first couple of times with it. Aw, all my poor little robot friends. Wait, surprise Puffoid attack? <laughs> what the hell? Uh Oh, okay. That was that was it. Just the puffoids. Just the puffoids. Okay. <laughs> like there's five quests that just popped on the board and then you have some character missions left and getting max levels and some other stuff that just came unlocked. That's awesome, man. It's just like never ending. So we did all that for some armor. <laughs> Robot pirate helmet. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, well, yeah, I survived. Why wouldn't I survive, man? Easy, easy shit. Finally, looks like Pierre was telling the truth after all. Let us see what is kind of surprising. Oh, hey, Veritanium. Oh. Congratulations in Kraken. <laughs> uh, maybe go fast. Is that Captain Quan? Oh, Captain, what? What brings ye 
Oh, <laughs> what? That's my name? Just Captain What? You're uh, in danger. The Emperor has. Do you don't it <laughs> doubt? Trust him, keyboard. So actually, he's the one in danger. We could get ahead of the Emperor with that thing. Thing? Uh, uh, it's me face. But you're not a robot. What? Yeah, that's definitely Captain Quark. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Quark of this world. Freaking useless, I swear. Quark? It's Quantum! Captain Quantum! Bruh, what the hell? <laughs> Freaking bucket on his head! Like, come on! Oh Lord, I'm <laughs> I'm getting a headache just dealing with this dude. Uh, maybe you could not be useless and help fight. Like that'd be that'd be nice, Mister Quantum. <laughs> did it at least refill my ammo. It looks like it did. So many pretty colors. So annoying but funny. Yeah, that's Captain Quark's whole thing. He's annoying but funny. He's a, a lovable idiot most of the time when he's not causing the destruction of the planet because he's stupid. Helping out the bad guys by accident, essentially. Like, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's kind of the worst. Especially because, like, the, the actual lore for the game is that uh, he's one of the heads of the, like, Galactic Police or whatever the hell they're called. I can't remember. And Ratchet, like, looks up to him big time just to find out that he's, like, a massive idiot, essentially. It's ridiculous. But, you know, it, it sets the stage for, for stupid fun. That's why people say don't meet your heroes. Honestly, though, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> one left now? Is that what he said? Where is this one at? Or was that the last one? I guess it was. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Uh, what's going on? Are we about to get eaten by a Kraken? That didn't do anything. Okay. I mean, something's obvious. Oh, no, we just had to wait. Okay. Well, we were in the right spot, at least. <laughs> I don't like oh, no. How about oh, yes? <laughs> well, tell them to get their asses down here. Let's go, man. I ain't scared of them. Where is that ship going? Dumbass. You ain't kidding. Oh! Wait, what is it doing? What's the blunder beam? Or plunder? Is that what they said? No, okay, so just more pirates, whatever. We know how to deal with them. Nice and easy. He's just as annoying as Quark. Oh yes. Oh yeah. They're they're one in the same. Like There's no difference between them. <laughs> One's red, the other's the other's green. That's it. Nice. Level four in the Glove of Doom. I feel like it's leveling up awfully quick. Oh, we can actually go to the other side. That'd probably help. Do we have any ammo left? We do. Ah, Mr. Fun Guy. <laughs> Disable the plunder beam, so we have to get over there somehow. How do we get over? Oh, probably not by hitting explosive barrels with our wrench.
What are we? Oh, other side. Okay. Just work our way around. We got this. Oh my lord, y'all are the worst. Do I have bombs? Blow them up. <laughs> Excellent. That's better. Uh, now what? Did I see portal? Grabby thingy? Anything? What am I doing? Press R3 to review. I know what I need to do. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot is, is what the problem was. <laughs> There's a giant floating platform I could grow on. Grab onto. Not grow onto. Growing onto it would be weird, man. That is the last. Oh, no. We just got like full ammo here, man. Very nice. These guys don't stand a chance. Where is it? I'm blind. I need... I need assistance. Oh, there's... Probably the giant freaking screw you can grab onto, man. That might be the one you want. Turn to the captain ship. We'll do. And... Done. Yeah. How about you join my crew? Thanks, but maybe we should focus on escaping first before the pirates or the emperor get here. Emperor will be long gone before he ever gets close to me. And before he appears like now. We are ready for takeoff. Initiate rock thrusters. You need seatbelts. Uh, are we getting fired at? Well, if that isn't foreshadowing, yeah, right? Uh, they have a what? <laughs> I would love to, but how? Can I get over there? Is there... Do I just have to keep firing our cannons? I'm a little confused on what to do, to be honest. I don't see... We don't have a jump pad, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a freaking swingy thingy. The Tide Twins. Hi, Tide Twins. Are you also angry because you ate too many Tide Pods? Is that what happened? Control crank. Yeah, we can't really do shit with the control crank until these guys are dead, though. So I think we'll focus on that at the moment. If y'all don't mind. Just, you know, my idea. Holy crap, these guys got a lot of health, too. Ow, I was teleporting. I feel like, sometimes I feel like we move extremely slow. I don't know if we actually do, or if it's just, uh, it just feels that way, but... I guess it's because of all the time we spend, like, zooming around all over the place. That once we just have to run like normal, it can feel like we're hardly moving. Ooh. Ah, I thought we could destroy the barrels. No barrel destruction today. Our little dudes make it so we hardly even have to do anything. <laughs> Just survive. Our fungus and robots do all the actual work for us. Where was the crank? There it is. Uh, turn off, maybe? I would rather not. Summon bubbles to dinner. Oh no, <laughs> not bubbles. Uh, game suddenly got very quiet. Uh, Ratchet, maybe you should go back, man. This is a terrible plan? No, everything will be just fine, I'm sure. Bubbles seems friendly enough. <laughs> 
I mean, maybe, maybe we should have thought of an exit plan before we, uh, before we summon bubbles, but, you know. Oh, see? It's perfect. A well-timed jump into an explosion or away from an explosion. Whatever. That's all you need. So, this Captain Quark... He looks plastic. It's kind of weird. In your dimension too? No, he's a hero. Even though he's betrayed us, surrendered to save his own skin, taking credit yep. for our... He's a hero? All these things. <laughs> because no matter how many times he screws up, He's always there when it matters most. He never stops trying. The dimensions falling apart. The Emperor's all powerful, and my life's in danger. Perfect time for a career change. Heck yes. Ratchet giving hope to everyone. Oh. Uh, about that. <laughs> We maybe get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Hero stuff. <laughs> Just freaking yeet him off the ship, man. Hell yes. You need to make coffee? Make some coffee, man. We're just floating in the bucket on the open water. <laughs> Using our wrench as a freaking paddle. I love it. That's great. Additional missions now uh, available from the ship. Kit? No, we will. As soon as they're finished up on Sargasso. Hope everything's going well over there. How much money do we have? Oh, a headhunter? Is this... Is that a... Oh, I should have done the, the demo on is what I meant to do. Can we still do the demo? Yeah, there it is. I'm guessing it's like a sniper rifle, right? It was a sniper? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, it's even got a zoom. Oh, how fancy. I don't know how, how useful that'll end up being. Because I feel like most of the time in this game, you're pretty close to the people that you're wanting to, you know, shoot. But <laughs> I like sniper rifles, though. So this quirk is actually decent. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Passable, maybe. Black you hole know, storm? Son. What? What is that? Oh, that's the next weapon. I was like, I don't remember that one being shown to us. All right, so what is this? This is increased max ammo by a whole one. I mean, we'll take it. It's not a, a super fancy upgrade, but whatever. Additional agent comes with each doom egg. We'll definitely take that, man. And what else? Blast pistols is maxed. We haven't been using any of those. Fungal is maxed. Shatter Blast. I guess is maxed out? It says level 5. So yeah, it must be. We got all the, the main upgrades That's for it. That bad boy. We have 69 nice things. Uh, I guess, you know what? We'll just go ahead and fully upgrade the ones that we actually really like. The... Fungal one's already done. The Shatter Blast. I really like that one. So we might as well just go ahead and unlock everything else for it. This is all increasing max ammo, which is very nice, actually. Because that's, like, the number one problem we have, generally speaking, is just running out of ammo. That still leaves us with 50. So Executor, that one's done. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I guess, besides Glove of Doom. I guess we can buy all the extra shit for it real quick. What's this? Increased speed. Okay. Attack agents from farther away. Also nice. And then we haven't unlocked the next section yet, so can't go down there. Okay. Well, we'll save the rest of our, our, our points. Oh, that's right. We got the Bombardier one. The, the freaking murder drone. Yes. That's cool. I feel like I'm going to end up liking this one a lot, too. We're going to put this one on our main our main list somewhere. Uh, what is it? Weapons. Make the coffee, Nate. And even though you had an iced latte drink, extra coffee for me because it's not doing shit. Oh, you poor thing. Let's, uh, let's move this stuff around a little bit, right? Blast pistol goes up top. 
And then our next favorite is one of the, the fungal ones. So that can go to the right. Excellent. Executor, we do use that one a lot. It can go to the left. Glove of Doom, we like that one. It can go down bottom. Um, do, do, do. Old snap. Bombardier, I feel like I'm going to end up liking a lot. So I'll tell you what, you can go up there. I think that's it. Oh, the Shatter Blast. We completely missed the Shatter Blast. It can go there. So now we should have... We go over here. Blast Pistol, Shatter Blast, Bombardier, Fungal, Glove of Doom. All of our favorites kind of right there and available. Excellent. All right, so we only got like uh, 10 minutes left. So is there any areas that we feel like we can complete relatively quick? Did we collect everything here? We did. We're not going back there yet because we don't want to do the next mission just yet. Um, I mean, do we just go ahead and fight in the arena for a minute? Maybe we'll just go ahead and do that. Yeah, screw it. Why not, man? Let's just go ahead and do some fighting. Seems like a decent way to uh, to spend the last 10 minutes. Let's do arena. Yes. I'm for it. Let's go. We got to complete it eventually anyways, right? So... Well, we got like 10, 15 minutes of, uh, of time. Might as well just go for it. And we can try out our new freaking murder, uh, murder drone that we just unlocked. Which is always a bonus. I just took the long way around for no reason. Other than being an idiot. <laughs> freaking zooming through here, man. Uh, we lose our boots in the bar, too. You take my hammer, you take my guns, you take my boots. What else are you going to take from me? Just start from the beginning. We did those two, it says. So, Boomstick Blast, defeat 25 goons using only the Enforcer. Is it my fully uh, powered up Enforcer? The Executor? Because that would be cool. It is. It's the Executor. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay with this one. Kill goons with the enforcer. Yep. <laughs> they uh they die pretty easy, it turns out, with this here enforcer. <laughs> oh lord. I wish I had my boots though. That'd be nice. It's a little hard to move around without my 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 boots of speed. Like, can we make that jump? Yes. I want to go fast. Let me be Sonic. Deaded. Oh, you're flying. Hi, guys. I didn't see y'all up there. Anybody else? Want to come say hello? You guys. Hi. You gotta go fast. Damn straight. Oh, we are uh, out of ammo. Uh, ammo pods anywhere? I see health pod. Ow! Okay, we got the health pod. That's all fine and dandy. That looks like a ammo pod. Ammo! Doesn't give us a whole lot of ammo, though. A little bit. We still got to kill a few more dudes. Oh, I shouldn't have you. Oh, here we go. Big group of them. Done. Victory. Too freaking easy, man. Got to go faster, 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 faster. <laughs> now you want to rewatch the movie? It's good, man. I want to myself. I own it, though, on uh, Blu-ray, so maybe I will. The next time Noodle and I have a, a movie night together, maybe that's what we'll do is watch. Time trial, finish the speedle course quickly. Oh, this isn't a, uh, a battle one? It's a, a, a racing one? That's cool. But yeah, maybe the next time we have time for a movie night, we'll watch Sonic. Although, I don't know. We've been trying to get through so many movies that we haven't watched yet. Like, so we've been trying to watch new stuff mostly. Or, well, new to us at least. Uh, ow. Uh, so that went well, guys. <laughs> Let's try let's try that one again maybe. <laughs> Ran into the first freaking light pole we saw. Uh don't don't do that. Don't go to the map. 
It is awesome when you're tops. Now you gotta watch Encanto and all. Encanto is really, really good too, in my opinion. I don't know if Sonic is one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, I don't know if I'd call it a favorite of mine, but it's one of my favorites as far as video game movies though go, though that's for sure. Like, 100% is it one of the best video game movies I've ever seen. Ah, uh, what? The, the freaking... What were we supposed to do? That car hit me. <laughs> Still don't like Abuelita, though? Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, she's kind of a jerk. I get it. She went through trauma. Had a tough life and all that. But you don't got to take it out on your kids, man. Especially, uh, I forget the main character's name, but like, she's she's a nice girl, you know? Take the shit out on her. Rude. Okay, so... There we go. We got much more height that time. I guess we just didn't hit the, the jump well enough. What was that? Okay, this one is starting to annoy me. I thought I would like it, but like... <laughs> We definitely went off that ramp, right? Like, I feel like we did that just fine, but I guess not. The game wasn't ha happy with it. This race is rigged. You're not kidding, man. They don't want no one to get that golden bolt. Do we have to, like, do I have to hit the jump button? I don't think hitting the jump button does anything on this thing. Yeah, no. So, like... I guess we just didn't hit it, like, straight enough? I don't... <laughs> Annoying. There we go. Definitely went through it. Usher's our champion to what? Hey, Sargasso! We were, uh... We're gonna go back here eventually. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't see how you could actually run out of time here. I guess if you weren't using the boost. But, like, it seems like you're either going to die or you're going to make it. Like, those are your only real choices here. I'm surprised that there's actually, like, a little tiny hiccup there in a, a couple places. With the loading. Yay, we got the golden bolt. You're double bringing your coffee? I've never tried that before. Is that, is that good? Like, Zircon Jr., this world is actually not that bad, so heck you. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, though. A Grunther named Sue. Defeat the undead Grunther. Ooh, okay. Ten squillion? Is that a real, a real word? Like, a real number? I've heard of people, like, using their coffee grounds twice, but... I don't think that's what he means, though. I could definitely be wrong. Oh, like, so when you say undead, you mean, like, like, undead undead. Like, it's a freaking skeleton undead. Okay. Uh, let's get all of our murder friends up and going. Glove of Doom. Glove of Doom. This isn't the Glove of Doom. Go for it, buddies. All of you just destroy them. <laughs> I honestly don't think Gunther stands a chance against my army of freaking robot min minions. Like, and fungus. Don't forget the fungus. And then we'll use some shatter blast, throw some bombs in his face. Skeletal sand sharks? What the hell? I'm glad I have all of the little the little bros help me out on the ground there, because skeletal sand sharks sound like it could actually be a bit of an issue. Um, speaking of little bros on the ground, though, I think they're all dead. Do we have any more? We don't. We're kind of out of ammo for it. Where is the executor? Shotgun to the face! Haven't either, but you're making coffee with coffee. <laughs> I mean, I think there is such a thing as too strong for coffee, and I think you might be getting dangerously close to that limit. Like, <laughs> just just a thought, man. Like, I'm not a coffee expert or anything, you know. I could I could be wrong, but yeah. 
Uh, thank goodness we picked up some health. Do we have any bombardier ammo left? We don't. We ran out, like, all of our freaking ammo, didn't we? Holy shit. It's all right. We won. Not bad. Maybe it's your limit, but not his. IDK, I don't drink coffee. I mean, like, I, I like my coffee strong whenever I, I, I drink coffee, which is rare these days since I don't drink caffeine. But, uh, like, I like it strong, but brewing coffee with coffee might be a bit much, man. I don't know. You're trying to make fight god level coffee strength here? <laughs> I can see that, honestly. Alright, uh, I think we got time for one more fight. Let's do one more. One more fight and then we're going to sign off for a little bit. Again, though, I will be back around 12 o'clock for, uh, for the podcast. The Just One More Level podcast with my co-host Jonathan. Should be a fun time and I hope to see whoever can make it there. Uh, let's see. Ooh, not this. We want some Glove of Doom action going on. So survive five ways. So really, we just have to we just have to murder them, right? That's all we got to do. Murder them and try not to get hit by the giant sweeping saw blade that's going around. Sounds easy enough. Wave two. Where you at? I hope my... Okay, yeah, they didn't. For a second, I thought my freaking, uh... My fungus got hit by... The giant saw blades. I was a little concerned. Also, I didn't mean to throw all three bombardiers, but... Too late now, I guess. <laughs> Y'all are gonna die. How many did we have to live? Five or three? Wave two complete. I'm thinking five, but it might have been three. You also added green tea and awake black tea to it. This is not to your taste. <laughs> to, to satisfy your caffeine addiction. Yeah, man, I think you got a bit of a problem. <laughs> that, that's kind of ridiculous, man. That is so many different uh, caffeine sources. Uh, who's left alive? Oh, right behind me, there's a couple. That was an easy wave. Were those laser beams? What was that? Now he's got laser beams, too? Or no, that just shows, like, where it's gonna go on the track. Okay, that's not, that's not that bad. Throw down all the Glove of Doom, please. And then shotguns? Shotguns to the face? That seems fair. We'll, 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 we'll shock under the face. It's been bad at grandma caffeine. I mean, I've been there, man. But, uh, it's still a problem. <laughs> like, uh, even though I've been there myself, I, it just means I can say firsthand. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I used to drink, uh, a few of the, uh, usually one or two BFEs a monster a day. And then, uh, about five shots of espresso at like 60, 70 grams of caffeine each, or grams, yeah. Nope, I would actually be dead. Milligrams of caffeine each. And then uh, whatever coffee and shit that I drink throughout the day on top of that. So I've been there, but that doesn't mean it's good for you. <laughs> uh, we're out of all of my favorite ammo types. Besides Shatter Blast. We'll Shatter Blast some pools. Maybe. If we don't freaking die, get out of the way. Victory! That was the last wave, too, right? Yep. GG. Not bad at all. And not only do we get the, the award, right, for winning, but then we're getting all these rupees from killing shit, too. So, very nice, man. All right. Well, sadly, though, as I mentioned, that is all the time we have for today. I'm glad y'all joined me, Rude, Nate, Mr. Noodle, anybody else that just stopped in and showed in chat or whatever. I appreciate you all. And uh, again, whoever whoever is able to make it tonight, I hope to see you tonight on the Just One More Level podcast where we talk about video games. Because, I mean, that's what we do is play video games. <laughs> you keep at that gram limit, which is about three of your energy drinks, and you cut back to a lot of days. Now, that's good, man. It's good to cut back. You really should try to. Boo, it's getting really good. I'm sorry, Rue. I'll see you, man. Thank you for being here. 
Have a good night, everyone. I'm gonna go get some food now. <laughs> bye bye. See if we can beat the second level without game overing. <laughs> Hardly made it through the first. We got this, though. Just gotta believe, man. What other games uh, are you excited to see, Nate? You you mentioned Dark Cloud, of course, but okay. Well, that was not.